Hi, Salman. Actually, we will talk about you today. <laughs> It's going to be a little about you. So, uh, hello, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Samir. Me and Ashita will, uh, will present to you our um, program. It will consist of describing what is the MSP, MSP program consists about. So, uh, I can share my screen and begin. Okay, let's go. Okay, so um, there's there's one of you. Can you can you please mute your mi micro because I get my my sound. Um, yeah. yeah, it's better now. Okay, so hello everybody. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, actually, I'm sitting in the, in my room, <laughs> but uh, I'm really really happy to be presenting to you our program today. We're gonna be we're gonna host a session about um, everything that you must know about the Microsoft Student Partners community, and um, and so yeah, let's begin. First of all, who am I? I'm Samir C. Mohammed. I'm an MSP Algeria since September 2019, so it's uh, like it's been like nine months. And uh, I'm a beta. I'm Microsoft. I'm a student partner. You will see later that um, MSPs have some kind of level. So uh, so yeah. And I'm a final year student at the Higher National School of Computer Science in Algiers. And I'm currently a research intern at Turicam France. I'm working on uh, 5G and uh, drones. But that's not the point. We're not going to talk about me today. We're going to talk about really inspiring people. So, what will be the summary of our session today? First of all, I will give an introduction about uh, what is MSP um, and what this, this consists of. Then I will give some advantages. Uh, I, I, I guess that's why you came here, guys. And uh, we will see some inspiring stories of old MSPs. Um, after that, we will move to how to apply in order to become an MSP. We will give uh, a little description about the levels of MSP, as I told you. We will talk about other communities. And um, the most exciting part will be some MSPs, some actual and current MSPs sharing their journeys and uh, how did Uh, the fact that they they were MSP help them in your help them in their career, and we will we will end by answering some questions that you had, guys. Um, well, please don't hesitate to write questions uh, if you have any in the on the YouTube live channel. Okay, so introduction. What is Microsoft Student Partners? If you take a look at the website of MSPs, you will see this uh, this definition. So. Uh, MSPs are a global group of on-campus ambassadors who are eager to help fellow students lead in their tech local local tech community and develop technical and career skills for the future. So what you, what you have to what you have to understand from, from, from this what you, what you have is that the main objective of MSPs is just to to learn and to share what they learn. So that's it. So we, we MSPs are somehow ambassadors of, of knowledge and technology. So they help people to learn and uh, they share their technologies with their communities. And when I say that, this means that MSPs can share technology and, uh, and, and their skills with any any kind of people, even if they are not MSPs. So yeah, the main objective is sharing here. And you might find yourself organizing a hackathon to solve the world's toughest problems, mentoring fellow students, or unlocking the next great idea with your team. So it's all up to you. And as I told you, the main objective of, of this is just to enhance people's uh, people's skills and uh, help them to be more uh, to be more active and more um, more skilled so this is really the main objective of being an msp is just to, to share what you have learned and to make people around you better and so on so you will help others you will be a tech insider and you will grow your skills so that's basically what is uh, what does this community consist about So we are a group of, uh, of students all over the world, from Nigeria, from India, from, from uh, Ghana, from uh, all the countries in the world. And we, we, we share the same patients uh, about technologies and we help people to, to, to get to know more about them by organizing events, etc. You, you, will, you will see uh, in detail how it works. So what are the main advantages of being an MSP? We actually have a lot of advantages. Well, first of all, you will be able to organize and co-organize different events. Uh, just imagine that, uh, just suppose that you are skilled in uh, in, uh, in the technology, and you want to you want to help people. You want to share your passion with other people, 
or you just want to train your skills at teaching others. So you can organize and co-organize different events with other MSPs. So you just say, okay, guys, I just want to do something about, uh, I don't know, um, DevOps, DevOps technologies. So you can just organize different events and that's very easy. People, you will find people with the same patient as you. They will help you, you will help them. And, uh, and yeah, you will, you will be able to do whatever you want. And of course you can attend to different events on several technologies if you want to learn. Uh, for example, for me, uh, two, two weeks ago, we had a team in uh, an MSP. They just started something about quantum computing. And I was like so excited about that because I didn't know nothing about that. So I joined them and I'm, I'm slowly learning, but I'm learning. So, so that's it. You will find people interested in any, any technology, any skill that you want. And you can attend to, to the events they're organizing. They can help you, etc. Of course, you will get access to, to some awesome Microsoft product keys, such as uh, Azure Credits. Um, so basically, when, you're on, when you are at a certain level of MSP, you will get $150 a month on Azure, which is something very big. You can do a lot of things with that. You will have, of course, keys of uh, Microsoft Office, as Word, PowerPoint, etc. And of course, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Enterprise. So, um, this community really helps you to work, to work and to develop and to create. So that's it. That's the aim behind that. And of course, you will have something that's very cool. Also, you have you will have access to a free premium to LinkedIn Learning. I don't know if uh, if you guys checked um, the courses that are available on LinkedIn Learning. They are very interesting, and they can help you in your career. So you you will get access. Um, also, when you get at a certain level of MSB, you will get free access to, to it. So that's very awesome. And of course, you will add a grid line to your resume and your curriculum. You will see with the with the stories that I'm gonna go to you that it actually helped a lot of people um, to grow their career and to get hired. And uh, so yeah, it's a very very great line on your on your resume to have that. And um, the, the last thing is that you will integrate an outstanding community. It's like people here are very awesome. They are very nice. People will help you with any computer problem. If you have any problem, just ask. If you ask them, you will find a lot of people answer, answer you, uh, suggesting you solutions, reaching you out directly on private. Um, so people here really want to help each other. So that's that's the most awesome thing in, uh, in, uh, in Microsoft Student Partner, I think. So... We, we really, we really, we are really a family, a family that wants to help each other with anything. So even if you have like a personal problem, they will, they will help you. So yeah, and you would, so you would definitely meet new friends and share with them so many patients. Uh, for example, I think we, they have something like a philosophy here to 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 play Minecraft. So yeah, you you will you will just you will just meet meet them meet, meet the new friends and really you, you will you will really share patients with them. So that's that's. Very, that's very interesting for me. Okay, so that's basically the proof of being an MSP. It's not all of them. Uh, I just uh, just try to make uh, a list. And uh, okay, let's move on on inspiring stories. So I have chosen to you uh, the stories of three old MSPs that are uh, that have been such very successful in their careers. In their careers. Uh, unfortunately, they did not uh, be able to. They, they were not able to to join to, to join this event, but. They really nicely shared with, with me their, their, their stories, and I will share that to you um, in my turn. So the first is Ronik Sakuja. Uh, this guy, so he is, he is the guy at the left, and the uh, guy at the right is actually the head of uh, Microsoft Student Partner, Pablo. And uh, so yeah, so Ronak was a three-time Microsoft Student Partner from Delhi Technological University at India. He was, uh, and hear me well, an intern at Microsoft in the summer of 2019, and now hear me better, he will be a full-time software developer at Microsoft from summer 2020. So I just take the occasion, I don't know if, he, if, if he's uh, here or not, just to congratulate him. And uh, so yeah, the guy is very nice, is very awesome. He actually wrote a blog about uh, how MSP helped him in, in his career. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna share it to you to you later in the comments. So so yeah, I, I just advise you to, to go and take a look. And in this blog, he, he, he said a sentence that um, really, really pleased me. So yeah, what well, the thing is, he was uh, into at Microsoft in the summer of 2019, and then he wanted to, to join Microsoft, so he made uh, interviews. And during the interview, he started think, uh, talking about uh, Microsoft student partners to, to the interviewer who did not know about that program. And um, when he started to, 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 
to tell him about that, the fact that they organized workshops, they organized events about uh, Microsoft technologies. Uh, so, as you can see here, this created a feeling of connection between him, him and the interviewer. And the regular workshops that he conducted in his university on the latest technologies that Microsoft offers made him feel that he was skilled for the role. So, yeah, that's just very, very simple and very cool. It's like he told him that we do organize a lot of events, especially on Microsoft technologies. So the guy in face facing him just thought, OK, so this, this man is organizing a lot of workshops about technology, so he must be very skilled uh, on them. And I really, I, re I really believe he is. And yeah, so that made him just able to join Microsoft. So that's such a big thing. And uh, I want to congratulate him another time. So, so yeah, so this really, this definitely helped him in order to get, uh, to get hired by Microsoft. Okay, let's move on. The second guy is uh, another very nice and awesome guy. He's Yashrad Nayak. And um, he's very nice. He also wrote something about, uh, about uh, how did the Microsoft Student Partners Program help him in his career. And he, so he was a coder and turned into a community manager. He has an MSP alumni, been MSP for four years in Indore, India. And he's currently managing the Indian community at India community at So, yeah, and um, how, how he began, he talk, he's talking about that in, in his blog. He started contributing to his university, then the city, then connected with MSPs in other regions to make a larger impact. So, that's the thing. Um, he started like in a local level, in a local level, um, just with, with his university and his city, and then he connected with MSPs in other regions to make a larger impact. And that's also one one part of being an MSP. You don't have to. You, you must not really be really close uh, close to your to your area. You must expand your your, your network and uh, your knowledge to other regions. So that's the thing here. That's what he did, and he he decided to be a learner at all. So okay, just give me something to learn. I will learn everything. And he followed the give boost principle for give 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 ask. So yeah. So the um, main goal of uh, as I told you of MSP is to share the knowledge. Just share what you know. Just share what you know, and then you will learn. Then you will learn something else. There is also a quote uh, saying that knowledge is the only thing that uh, is not lost when shared. So he definitely applied this. And it made him able to, to, to reach uh, tops, to reach tops of uh, um, his career. And he also focused on building a professional network. So as I told you, he expanded to other regions, and that really helped him in his career. To have a professional network, strong professional network, is something very, very important that um, you must really take uh, uh, take that seriously. So yeah, so that's it. And uh, the third guy, uh, he's a guy that I know uh, personally. So he is an MSP. He was an MSP Algeria from 2014 to 2017, and uh, he is actually he, he was actually the Microsoft Magic Cup Algeria winner. So he won he won the Microsoft Magic Cup promotion. You know about that. Um, so it's a competition, it's a global competition. Well, actually, nation, national one steps on a global level. So he won in his country with an application. Uh, you know, and now he's currently a postdoc researcher at Inria, in Ria, France, working on augmented reality using, for example, Microsoft HoloLens. And the thing is, he was a Microsoft research at Seattle intern for three months in summer 2019. And I, I just want to share to you how he did to, to, to get hired. So actually, he was working, he was a PhD student, he was working with his team, of course. And then he published a paper uh, about something Actually, he's not working directly on augmented uh, reality. He was working on a uh, brain-computer interface. It's a part of augmented reality. It's just to control the uh, robots by uh, brain. Right? But um, okay, and he just published the paper, and um, the, the paper was accepted, and the conference was held in Japan, in Tokyo. So he went there. He just presented his paper. Okay, he, here are the results that we had. Here are what we used. And as I told you, he used Microsoft Hololens in order to get his experiments. And at the end of his conference, um, people went to him and uh, say, hi, Hakim, we are from uh, Microsoft uh, Research in Seattle. We are very interested by what you do. Um, let's have an interview. And he had an interview and uh, he got accepted. He got hired. So, and he told me that during the interview, he mentioned that he was an MSP and that really helped him uh, in order to get hired. That things went, went very quickly. So, so yeah. And uh, there's also a quote that he that he said, 
at the time, actually, uh, to apply to MSP, you had to do something like an interview. Uh, I don't think it's the case now, but uh, the interview asked him a question. How many times, how much time will you devote uh, for MSP program during your day or during your week? And he answered a very interesting thing for me. He said that being an MSP won't take me hours from my daily agenda. It will become something in my personal way. So what he meant is that he won't devote like specific time to being an MSP. It will just become something natural in him. And, that, and I really liked his answer. And uh, so, yeah, he, he got accepted after that. And uh, so, yeah, so I think that he is such an inspire, inspiring, inspiring story to tell. And this, by the way, this guy is my brother. So uh, shout out to my brother. I hope you do. Fine. So, um, okay, I will now present to you the organizing team. So as I told you, uh, I'm Samir. I just gave you an, an introduction. We'll have Akshita that we will talk about uh, about how to how to apply, how to apply to in MSP. And uh, Danushri and uh, Somi and Avani, I don't know if, if, if Somi will, will be here because I think she had some network issues. I don't know if, if, she, if, she, if she will be able to come. I hope she will. So, uh, yeah, let's move on. Okay, Akshita, you, you take the lead. Yes, um, first of all, thank you so much, everyone, for being here for this event. And am I audible? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So, okay. And as you all know, Samir has already introduced you to the MSP program and what it is all about. And you've also met a few of the old MSPs who are really amazing. We just again saw it because you couldn't get them here for you. I I'll go take a session about how to apply to this program. Well, First, you have to go to the site of studentpartners.microsoft.com. There, you have you can sign an option. So first, you sign in with your Gmail account, and and if if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can sign with a Gmail account and create a Microsoft account automatically. And then you can click on Apply Now. After you go to that, go to that, you get a screen something like this, which says privacy with terms and conditions and it gives you around it gives you out the notifications to the program you have to just click on the checkbox it will be below the privacy terms of terms and conditions and I'm sorry for the slow internet. Your screen is shared, uh, Akshita. Okay. It's Hello? Is it? Yes, if someone could do that. Uh, you want me to share my, to share your slides? OK, so let me just do that. OK, wait a minute.
uh, I guess the deadline would be somewhere around May and not June end because the last deadline was Feb end. So maybe this time it will be May end. Yes. Okay. Uh, what side do you want? Yes, this one. The next. So once you guys click on this privacy terms and conditions, you all the locks over here with the personal info and school info, written sample, all this open up, and you just click on next, and then you enter your details like the gender, the contact. The contact email, and when you click on the checkbox here, you have to verify your phone number as well. Then you go down to the school name. You enter your school name, which country you're from, your state, your degree, your pursuing, because you have to be a student. Then you have to select where your you have to select all the enter all the details in there, and then we come down to the most important part, the written sample. Yes. So here we have to enter in. We click on yes that if you're a, if you're an already existing student partner and if you're not, you're just applying to it. You click on no, and then you enter in details. They have three questions out there for you, which are inspire. And inspire question in, includes what excites about technology and why you want to help other students explore and learn. So here you can be as creative as you guys want, and you can imply all the essay writing you've learned in your school school days till today in this section. And once you fill this out, just try being as moderate as possible. Don't I? What I prefer is when I wrote on my application, I put in what I actually wanted to do to for society and how to help other community. And then we go to the teach part. So in teach, we'll have a question saying, um, why do we, why we want to, you know, how, how will we teach a certain concept regarding technology to a person who has never heard of the technology before? Ex take exam, take for example your grandparents. If you have never They've never seen technology like we've seen. They've always come from an age where, you know, they've started with that age. They just saw technology. So how do you introduce technology to those people? You just have to explain them in the most basic way possible. We can take an example like how do you introduce Microsoft Teams to your to your mom or your neighbor who is a teacher and she's a really respected and old teacher. So you start with saying, imagine like when you are, hello? Yeah, we have some problems. Okay, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. So, yeah, we will teach about the technology. So, when we get to the technology, we explain technology to them in the most basic way possible. And the most important part is the video. Um, I think a video, one video to any of these three parts, which is promote, teach, and in, inspire. So, any one video would do because a video for one of the one of them is necessary. And once we get this video, you have to upload it on YouTube and then just share the link here. Samir, next. Yeah, you post the you post it here in this link section and then Additional information about your social media handles and your website. If you've written down some blogs, it will be a great thing to put it down here. 
you can share your GitHub profile with them, your Twitter handle. And if you have a Stack Overflow account and you have answered a few questions, which is going to be really amazing and really inspiring. And if you have any technical videos on your YouTube channel or existing YouTube channel, it will be really great to put it down there in your Instagram account name and your LinkedIn profile. And after you've done with this, you have to just click on the submit button. Or we have one more section called technical skills where you can fill in the, your, the technical skills like you're really good in. What what skills you've already gained or you want to or you're gaining. If you're even a beginner in that would be OK. After you're done with it, you just click on the submit button and you can go to the application form like you go. You, just click on submit button and then you can share and is it okay um one next slide yes after you apply you can view your application status on your home page. And this was my application status. Once I was selected, I had got this application status saying it's accepted. And I wish you guys all the best. Just go apply and you all will get a positive result. Well, you guys have already asked a few of us seeing our status. What's in alpha one? What's alpha two? What is beta? What's this gold MSP all about? Well, we'll answer those questions too. We have. Dhanushree next. She's a beta MSP and she's going to help you guys out knowing what this is about. So Dhanushree, on to you. So, hello everyone. I'm Dhanushree. I'm pursuing my bachelor's in computer science and engineering at SGC Institute of Technology. So yeah, um, I hope you all, you guys have had a nice day. Uh, without wasting our time, let's see. Uh, so today I'll be discussing about uh, what are the different levels of Microsoft Student Partner. Okay, so uh, as Akshita already told us how to apply, how to apply for Student Partner, and the question arises is once you will become MSP, what is next? Right, wait. There is actually a lot more to learn and lot more to do. Okay, so you can actually build your skills. We have Microsoft Learn platform wherein you have you can actually learn a lot of resources like lot of technologies microsoft technologies like azure power apps and so on and also you can level up yourself how to level up we have a lot of milestones in our msp so this is a roadmap that we have when we will become an msp so when you will become an msp you will enter an alpha 1 stage okay after that you need to complete one learning path then you will upgrade it to alpha 2. After hosting an event, you will become a beta. And then you have you, you just not have to be an active MSP. You have to be a proactive MSP in order to become a gold. OK, so let's see uh, what are the benefits of all these uh, alpha, alpha 2, and then beta and gold, right? So yeah, here you go, alpha 1. So when you will become an alpha 1 MSP, you will get Office 365 subscription along with Microsoft Teams. Also, you can access Snagit and Camtasia, which are actually used for screen captured and screen recording softwares. OK, you can actually uh, do your teaching videos using this Snagit and Camtasia softwares. And one you, once you have done with Alpha 1, how to get upgraded to be, uh, Alpha 2, right? So it's very simple. You have Microsoft Learn platform, OK? So wherein, this is a small snippet of MS Learn, OK? And you can see uh, uh, Azure Fundamentals, right? This is one learning path. Actually, uh, this is a Microsoft Learn is a platform wherein you can learn a lot of technologies like Azure and then Microsoft Le like uh, machine learning and so on. So there are so many learning paths. Once you will complete one learning path, like this is Azure Fundamentals is one of one of the learning path. You have several learning paths. If you complete one of the learning path, and then you have to report that to Microsoft Student Partner Community. So how to report is nothing but uh, there is a Microsoft form 
wherein you need to fill that you have completed this learning path and then within one or two weeks you will be upgraded to alpha 2 so what is alpha 2 then what do you get so you will actually get a lot of benefits over here you will get visual studio subscription you will get azure credits for 150 dollars uh, and then monthly and then you have uh, and then you have you can actually have linkedin learning subscription for 6 months and then you have a uh, developer community support azure code magazine subscription one year subscription and so on there a lot of subscription and you are in an alpha 2 now how to get upgraded to beta so in order to get upgraded to a beta you need to host an event so that event can be of anything like a boot camp or a hackathon or it can be a learning session or a simple event so if you host it and then if you uh, like if you report that in the microsoft forms within one or two weeks you will become a beta so wait what is this see if you become a beta you will get all the subscription you you will get data cam subscription wherein you can learn a lot data science if you are in data data science enthusiast you can learn data science courses you have plural site also and then you have already as i mentioned visual visual studio subscription and then azure credits so on right and then you will get a t-shirt a t-shirt from microsoft and then you will get a certificate goodies badges and so on also in future if you want to organize any event you will get a food service from subway catering this is interesting right and then Uh, like if any uh, any microsoft summits happens across the world you will get a chance to attend that if you are a beta msp right so once you have become a, become a beta msp what's next you just have to be a very proactive you have to be a very proactive in order to become a gold student partner so what is this gold as a name only we have a lot of lot of advantages and like lot of help from microsoft wherein you can get one on one mentorship you will get a lot of subscription as well as you can become a student partner program regional leader and if you are an outstanding performer you can also be a microsoft most valuable professional that is mvp this is interesting right but like uh, you have applied but unfortunately you couldn't uh, like select what will happen no problem there are actually several other communities also so my friend somi will now uh, uh, like discuss about all the co- uh, several communities that we have so you can actually meet the like like minded people over there also so yeah this is about um, the different levels of microsoft student partner so somi Uh, hello everyone how are you doing how is the quarantine going i'm fine hope thanks you all are well. okay so one second is my screen visible yeah yeah is it visible yeah hey, it is yeah yeah it's yeah. visible No, 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 uh, not now. now. Oh, one second. I think there are network issues. Is it visible now? No. Now it is. Okay, you can go on. Oh, yeah, sure. So I think now it's visible. 
possible now you can continue okay so what if you will not get a chance to become a microsoft student partner what will you do you don't have to worry about all that because we have other communities as well let's go on with uh, developer student club from google so basically dsc is a google developers program for university students designed to help the help them build their mobile and web development skills it is open to any students ranging it uh, no voice developers who are just starting to advanced developers who wants to make a deep dive into the tech world next we have github campus experts so a campus expert is a student trained to build a strong technical community on campus campus experts get a lot of resources from github such as swag sponsorships and the opportunity to attend events like github universe that's actually a great opportunity and next is hacker earth campus ambassador so hacker earth platform is basically for all those students who are passionate about programming so obviously this campus ambassador program is only for those not only for those people but for those people who are actually passionate about programming and who are ready to start a programming club in their college next we have code shift chapter lead so code shift chapter lead are basically the programming clubs that are run and maintained by the official campus chapter representatives and are me- mentored by code shift so before applying to this program you actually have to provide your code shift profile and code shift is also a platform for programming students next we have explore ml program so this is a google sponsored program for university students to get started with machine learning next is gfc campus month you all have heard of geeks for geeks so this is related to that and you'll be recognized as the nominated mantri of your campus and your duty will be to help the students on your on ca- in your college next we have dell campus ambassador so being a campus leader from dell you'll get a special chance to attend dell conferences where you'll get to meet and network with the greatest leaders from dell and uh, next we have alexa student influencers that is asi young campus ambassadors and leaders passionate to learn new technologies in artificial intelligence and voice technologies enthusiastic to share their learnings with fellow colleagues and over here before applying you actually have to um, you actually have to provide two alexa skills only then you can get uh, selected for this program next we have facebook developer circles so whatever you build developer circles connect you to collaborate learn and code with other local developers then again we come to unity student ambassador unity student ambassador is basically uh, okay so unity we use basically for game development if you don't know and if you want to apply uh, and if you are talented you can apply as a unity developer artist designers from a diverse mix of backgrounds who are passionate about sharing their expertise in unity development with their peers the program aims to empower students as community leaders who run workshops game jams develop learning resources and work with faculty and other students to foster student success on their campuses if you are a volunteer you can join these groups you can join a microsoft reactor bangla group and then you can subscribe to msp inspire channel uh, next i think samir will take over so on to you samir okay, okay thank, thank you, you very, very much, much. Uh, um now i think now we move to the, the speakers yes okay so uh yeah. we will have seven speakers at all today and uh i will introduce briefly three of them first of all we have we have salman that uh, some of you may know he's actually he's very he's an awesome guy he's very skilled he's actually an intern at microsoft 
So um, yeah, I, I'm I'm really waiting for for, for him to share his, his journey. Then we have Virent. Uh, Virent is very, very special, special too because he's um, he's, he's a legend. Like how he manages to 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 manage his time. It's like he works on a lot of things. He's a student. He has a startup. He works on research. So he manages to do all of this. And this is very inspiring. And the, the last will be uh, a real close friend of mine. It will be Ibrahim. He's an MSB since uh, two or three years, years I think. And uh, he's very good at uh, programming, at designing, the uh, software development. So you guys are very, very lucky to have them today. Uh, Akshita, you, you introduce the others? Yes. And then we'll have Simran Makhija. She is a beta administrator of the September Karat, city lead for Girl Script Indoor. She's someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. She's also an avid leader and loves to listen to any and every kind of music. Well, then we have Usman Aslam. He is a Microsoft student partner for Islamabad Technology, and he's also the co-founder for MSP Islamabad. MSP Islamabad. He has a lot of experience. He's if I start listing them out, it'll, we just can't go on. He currently serves Google Developers Group Group Cloud as its strategic lead and is a Microsoft student partner for Pakistan who is leading the Islamabad region. Well, then we have Dawood. Who doesn't know him? In the MSP community, he is a software developer passionately creating products and changing life with the soft and technical skills by training others in events, workshops, and providing platforms for coders and non-coders to think beyond the limit. Last but not the least, we'll have Ekanj Gupta, a beta MSP from Delhi, a Google code inventor at Circuitverse, Google GitHub campus and advisor, facilitator at MOSFEST 19 London, and a speaker at Italy 2020. Enthusiastic and he loves to travel solo. Well, I guess we'll start with Usman Aslam. And Usman, it's over to you. Uh, all right, guys. So can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. All right, so I'm just going to get to my slides in a, in a moment. Uh, just a new moment. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, Hello everyone. So I hope uh, you guys are really, really being inspired by all of these session, all of these talks, and most importantly, you uh, getting the chance to learn more about the MSP program. It truly is a really inspiring program and really an immersive program to learn and be a part of. So a huge shout out to uh, Akishta and uh, Samir for hosting this session. It's really an amazing session that uh, people get to you know be a part of. So. Uh, my session is all about empowerment through MSP program. I could have gone a bit technical, but uh, all about empowerment. So again, my name is Marsalam. I'm a Microsoft partner residing in the Pakistan region. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a tech enthusiast, writer, columnist, author, and I'm a strategist for different multiple areas. I operate in Microsoft partners as a co-founder of MSP Islamabad. I'm a TEDx ambassador, uh, which basically is the empowerment of the TEDx mission. Uh, I've been a part of IEEE Region 10 for like past three years, and cur uh, currently I'm now an IEEE alumni. I've been part of the Livingston Research Program. Uh, it's all about research and publications, and I'm currently uh, an AWS Cloud Ambassador for Amazon. And uh, uh, apart from that, I started my own initiative under the United Nations Program, which is called Discover, which is all about initiative, innovative, lifelong learning. Uh, so uh, a bit of you know just to connect with you guys further. Uh, what I love is uh, I'm uh, I'm an avid gamer. I love to play video games, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, uh, Game Boy, any kind of that. So if uh, you would like to talk to me about gaming, uh, please do let me know. I'm also a tech enthusiast. I love learning about new technologies from time to time, irrespective of any branding or anything. I love learning about new technologies uh, more and more. And I'm a coffee addict. I prefer cappuccino. So you know that's a bit about myself. So my journey so far has been a bit uh, humble and a bit wavered. Uh, I started off as a volunteer, uh, doing different, uh, being part of different events, uh, doing different sessions, having uh, having the opportunity to uh, be a speaker for different um, uh, different program, different sessions, different talks, and I had the opportunity to you know be a part of a really immersive communities from time to time. So my journey has been more of an immersive lifelong learning uh, journey and I truly hope that I get to empower you guys 
further uh, throughout this uh, program. So, um, so in a nutshell, I've been an in IEEE, in IEEE. I've been in the XCOM uh, for, the, uh, for the region 10. I've been providing mentorship and I've worked alongside different communities, Google developers, Google Cloud, TEDx, United Nations Powered Initiatives as a lead. And I've started my own initiative, Discover, and uh, currently leading MSP Islamabad and as an AWS Educate Cloud Ambassador for Amazon. Uh, so Microsoft Student Partners, uh, already you've been briefed about that, so no reason to go further on about that. Uh, so I just, I may get this question, uh, I really get this question a lot of time that what is MSB Islamabad? Is, is it like some kind of new initiative? Is it, is it some program that people can be a part of? Well, MSP Islamabad is Pakistan's Microsoft Power Chapter. What we try to do over here is we try to empower people with the latest technological trends. We try to foster people with advancements and tools that people may have not known, such as Power Apps, Power BI, Azure Technologies, and so on. And we try to accelerate not just only students, but also graduates, uh, tech enthusiasts, and even companies. So MSP Islamabad is really connected with the industrial point of view and the student point of view, and we try to build a prosperous community filled with learning. So it's all about learning, building and empowerment. Uh, so before uh, the whole like uh, M uh, MSPs, uh, uh, like how and why, I just wanted to, you know, get to the point of uh, the MSP, like what do they actually do? So uh, my experience has so far been that we try to empower millions with the latest technological trends. We try to help them help people learn. We also try to uh, even accelerate ourselves and we try to be part of this global community. You've seen that uh, uh, you've been able to connect with Salman, with Sabiha, with uh, Daud and Aditya and you've uh, been able to, you know, be part of a global community. It's not just uh, bound to your own region, but it's, you know, it, uh, crosses 80 countries and so on and so forth. Uh, so uh, before you apply for any of the programs that were mentioned earlier, you need to ask yourself that why do I want to join this? Like again, it's it's totally understandable that all about the whole, um, yeah, it's a big brand. It's something that I should be a part of. It's something that should really, like it would look good on my resume, but you need to know why do I want to join this? Are you here for learning? Are you here for to inspire people? Or are you here to just, you know, have something on your resume? So before joining any program, find your motivation. You need to find your motivation. Why are you even applying for the thing that you are seeing right now? And remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. It doesn't just come in the terms of monetary. It comes in different terms. You could be a uh, part of a research, uh, research group. You could have your own publication. So the more you earn, the more you, uh, the more you learn, the more you earn. And one of the big examples is uh, Vedant. Uh, he's, you know, a really learning person. And you can see he is earning not just in monetary terms, but in terms of his own, you know, um, research and development. And try taking risks like uh, a program is all right. It's all about learning, but you need to, you know, like you need to you bring the best version of yourself, break those barriers, see how you can be better than yourself. Like if you're joining in uh, a program, you need to see how you'll turn out after that program. So this is one of the key areas when you ever apply for any program. So my reason for building MS uh, for applying for the MSP program were uh, clearly just three things and whenever I've been asked by a lot of companies and even by Microsoft that what were your reasons for applying for the MSP program I just told them three words learn build and empower I want to learn I build things and I want to bring that inspiration and empowerment to millions of people and that what uh, uh, led me to starting MSP Islamabad with a few other MSPs and that's what we're trying to do. We are trying to build that global empowerment connection throughout the uh, globe and help you guys learn. And, uh, you know, uh, just a lot of cool things that we're trying to do over here. So uh, in a nutshell, how did the MSP program help me? Again, it gave me a broader perspective of things. Like before I joined the MSP program, I did. I was more into the whole uh, Google, Google ecosystem, into the more uh, Facebook uh, technology ecosystem. But when I came into the MSP program, I came to know a lot of things that I don't think that any normal student would know, like Power App, Power BI, Azure technologies, uh, cloud, IoT, and so on and so forth. Um, uh, yeah, we know about Azure. A lot of people know about Azure, but you know, there are a lot of things like Dynamic 365, these things, you know, people get the broader, uh, broader perspective of things. And then uh, again, it enabled me to challenge the status quo. 
I have always been a rebel. I always wanted to, you know, challenge things and, you know, build things. I have never been the uh, kind of person that just sat there and did, did things silently. Uh, if you could ask Daud on that, you could ask Salman on that, like, I always try to do something new, something innovative. So uh, that's the whole, uh, you know, scenario of my, uh, from my side. Uh, then building my own networking cap- uh, abil- uh, abilities. I think the most important thing that we all need to know on a local scale and on a global scale are the network uh, networking abilities. If you know how to network, you are on one step higher than those who are like not even networking. Because networking can take you uh, from a lot of places. Like today you are connecting with Sulman, with uh, Daoud, with, uh, uh, with Samir and so many people. These people are from across the globe. You are learning from them, they are learning from you. This is that amazing network ability that you guys are gaining slowly and surely. So always keep up that networking ability and level up your, uh, and I had the opportunity to level up my own skills and accelerate my own career. Again, when people ask me about the different technologies I know, I uh, uh, tell them about all the things that I've learned from the MSP program, like uh, uh, power apps, you know, all the, power automate uh, tools that I've learned and yeah, I try to bring that up to other people so that even companies can know about what we are trying to do over here on the MSP global point of view and then receive mentorship from Microsoft personnel. Again, uh, the coolest thing about the MSP program is that, you know, it's not just the students, it's the Microsoft personnel who are looking after you guys. Like people want to, uh, they will, you know, they will ask you this, that are you learning? Uh, there was this one call, uh, you know, uh, where we had with Jasmine and, you know, she she was really this uh, this amazing personality where she asked, like, are you uh, guys learning? What else do you want to learn? And this is the most amazing thing. Like, people are asking you what do you want to learn? Like, what else do you want to, you know, gain? So this is the coolest part about, you know, uh, the MSP program and how it enabled me uh, further. So uh, big question, what do you do when you get selected? You're going to be uh, you're going to be majorly confused. You're going to be like, uh, okay, where should I go here? Who should I talk to? Who is going to help me out? So again, build up your networking, build up your networking abilities. Uh, take up challenges. See what the program has to offer. Keep exploring. Never stop that. If you the more curiosity you have, the more abil- the more uh, ideas you will have, the more abilities that you will have, and the more uh, things that you can create. And again, learn to connect and collaborate and try to go for challenges, hackathons and, uh, and even the Imagine Cup. Uh, it, it's not about winning or losing. It's all about learning. So these things are really important. So on to the questions. I received a, a few questions from the moderators of this session and they were really something uh, really inspiring. And I really uh, found it, you know, uh, the obvious question that we uh, get from time to time. So uh, obstacles faced as an MSB and the ways to overcome. So I think the biggest obstacle that I faced as an, as an MSP from time to time were the, it's, it's all about the boundaries that you set in yourself. Like uh, it's all about how, uh, what kind of ob- obstacles do you see for yourself? Are you like seeing that on the academic point of view, on the university point of view, can you not start your own, uh, your own initiative due to some issues? I believe that the ways to overcome your own obstacles is to, you know, talk to other people, seek new solutions, brainstorm new ideas over and over and keep pushing forward because there will be obstacles. There will be obstacles on this end that someone will uh, try to, you know, uh, uh, not have this initiative on board. Someone will disagree with you. So you need to keep on brainstorming, thinking of new ideas and see how you can uh, not only just help yourself, but helping others is one of the key facts. Uh, then uh, people say being an uh, being an MSP has its benefits. They say they give all kind of support. My question is, what kind of support do we actually receive? Um, yeah, on this, this is a really good question because again, the big question that you will get uh, when you apply or when anyone else applies is that, are you like, like what is the benefit? Like what do we get out of being part of the MSP program? Do we get any goodies? Do we get any swag? Do we get any learning resources? Uh, the biggest support that I think we receive is that the mentorship that Microsoft places in to make sure that their students, their MSPs are accelerating further. So uh, it's, it all depends on you. 
like how do you want to utilize those benefits that you uh, receive the benefits and the support is immense uh, like software tools that that are that were mentioned earlier and the swag and again but it all comes down to you how do you want to utilize all the support all the provisions and all the connection that you have been given as an msb and as far as uh, funding and projects goes it totally uh, depends on you know what's the criteria further when we when you get into the msb program i'm not sure about this but you'll have to you know see this further and again uh, i would always advise to uh, start learning through microsoft learn if you, even if you don't know about microsoft uh, technologies you can still learn them uh, through the microsoft learn app you just need to search microsoft learn and you'll learn all about the microsoft certifications the microsoft tools that are being featured and you can you know accelerate yourself uh, even before you apply for an msp or you know after you apply for an msp so uh, you guys are always welcome to connect with me this is my uh, facebook uh, instagram linkedin and twitter handle uh, feel free to ask any questions about uh, the msp program or anything regarding me or any any way i can help you i'm always into uh helping other than you know making sure that other people accelerate so uh yeah let's do connect uh, sometimes so uh, that's it from my side i just want to thank uh, samir and akishta for you know having this awesome session and i have been you know truly uh, humbled to you know bring about my story towards you guys so thank you so much thank, thank you, you very much, much man it's very, very very interesting and very inspiring you have some very great words Okay, okay, so, so uh, now, now we are going to move on on uh, Dauda, I think. So, Dauda, are you here? Uh, yes, I'm here. Thank you so much for okay, having so me. Uh, Go on. Let me try share my screen. And if it doesn't work, I just sent it to your, um, I mean, the chat, so you can just share it for me. But then okay, let me try so it. First. Try to do it and I will tell you. Ah, awesome. I will just try it. Uh, but hello everyone out there. What's up with you? How are you doing? And how is the day um, going? I'm sure you're getting a lot of inspiration from um, all the journey of the various speakers that are speaking today. Um, I'm excited to be here as well. Okay, so I'll just take some few seconds and I think it will be loaded. Um, yeah, keep both, I think. Okay. So um, I think I've not included a lot of things in my slide and I don't want to share my whole journey uh, because as, as, <laughs> as I get on many calls, I realize I leave things behind and I think now I'll be picking some pieces of my journey to be talking in various talks. Um, so here you would have one bit of it um, to consume. Um, so um, when I was on, sorry for always you know, using that when I was on campus, um, obviously, I, I graduated last year, but I joined the MSP program from 2018, and it was amazing journey for me. Uh, as I joined, I learned a lot about Microsoft technologies that I never heard of. I never heard of Azure before joining the MSP program. Uh, I mean, you talk about internships and co. I mean, I was just off from all this stuff. But one thing I always didn't you know, I knew of was myself, right? And uh, sharing my passion and sharing um, a huge inspiration to my community. So that was my focus. My focus was making every community I go great. So um, I kept sharing my knowledge and that is how I actually um, lived my life in the university proud to become an MSP was about learning, teaching people, I mean, half of my life was dedicated to the people around me and my community. So that was actually inspirational. But on this particular, you know, um, talk, I want you to, to rethink about the picture. I want you to look at the picture from a different perspective. In 2018, I organized um, a birthday party. Obviously, what led me to remember about the birthday party is because of my recent birthday, which was on 25th April, and the amazing stuff that, I mean, um, the MSP community put together um, just to wish me was inspirational. So it kept me thinking about whether I have ever experienced something like that before. So um, just to give you a 10 seconds bit of it is that they, they took about two months to, you know, um, plan a birthday wish for me and... It was amazing seeing tens of students from across the globe coming together and then wishing me happy birthday and talking about 
how I have contributed to their journey and uh, building a whole new world, I call it, in Minecraft. And oh, it was really inspirational. But that sent me to, you know, my old days, 2018, to think about whether I ever had that experience, okay? Um, so what happened was that I, I threw a birthday party and uh, uh, invited a number of people because my budget wasn't enough. So um, I think my budget would cater for 15 people. So I invited one of the influential, you know, people within the, uh, the, the university campus to attend the their birthday. I obviously had a problem with, you know, other people saying, and you didn't invite me. I mean, there were so close people to me that I couldn't invite, but I was looking at, you know, what exactly I wanted to achieve. So when these people came into the birthday party, I mean, they said um, they were giving, you know, testimonies about how exactly I've lived my life on campus and how they have actually, you know, looked at me. And obviously it was my birthday, so I think it was a good thing for them to do. So I, I listened to each and every one of them and then I nearly cried listening to what exactly I've been able to do. Now, but one of the things that really inspired me was the fact that one of them said to me that that would, you know, when you came to campus, we monitored your steps. We saw every bit of steps that you've taken. And gone were the days when I was thinking about getting a huge platform, I mean, standing on a pulpit, and then having a huge amount of people like this picture and talking to them. Because I wanted to be on a pulpit to be able to do that. But you was you, you, you actually lived in, you know, in, in, in the future, like you were coming from the future. Because... One of the things that you were able to do was that um, you immediately started teaching people right under trees. You didn't care about getting a classroom to be able to stand on a pulpit to be able to teach people. You didn't care about, you know, um, not having a microphone, not having a projector. You only cared about delivering what exactly you wanted to, sharing your passion to these people. So I saw you several times standing on the trees and then teaching people. And these people were seated and you were standing, I mean, for hours just to teach them uh, programming. And that was quite inspirational. And he said, when I saw you, I looked at what I was, you know, I, I, I think he said later in the future, I look back and I, I saw the bigger picture of what you were doing because I was thinking of standing on a puppet to be able to share what exactly I know, but you stood under tree to be able to do that. Now, the inspirational aspect of it is that um, I think after 2018, 2019, getting to the ending of, you know, December I was... Um, was that I, I yes, yeah, that was somewhere November 30th, or I don't know, I, I don't know, but that was somewhere November ending. And I got invitation from uh, my previous school that I actually attended before going to the university. Um, I did a software diploma in software engineering, professional diploma course in IPMC, and they invited me. And they told me that we need you to come and deliver a speech to um, the, our students who are graduating this year. <laughs> and that was quite inspirational for me because think about it. I stood on the trees to present, you know, share my passion. But when my, you know, after four years or five years of graduating from IPMC, they called me back and they said, hey, Dawood, we need you to come. And then, you know, um, we, we are awarding you the outstanding, one of the outstanding alumni award and you'll be delivering a speech, so prepare one. And you know where it was held was the National Theatre. And when we talk about the National Theatre, I mean, I mean National Theatre, right? There is only one theatre called National Theatre in Ghana. And it was it's a big platform and CEOs were there and foreign ministers were there and a huge amount of students who are about to graduate and I was given a platform to climb on and, you know, share with them an inspirational speech. So I lived my dream in 2014, I 2015, I actually shared all those passion. I mean, not caring about the exact platform I was standing um, with. I mean, what is necessary is that you share your passion. That is what is necessary. So rethink about the picture, rethink about the picture. What is your dream? What are you dreaming? What are you trying to achieve? Rethink about it. Don't you find anything? Check it up again. Don't you find anything? No, um, I mean, check it again. So what I mean is that never give up. 
keep searching for what is deep inside you, right? Because there is there is so much, you know, um, inspiration in you. There's so much light in you. But the only way you get to show it out there is actually when you challenge yourself, right? So what is your dream? Just just keep thinking about that. Now, the good part is the community. What is a community, right? What do I define as the MSP community? So the MSP community is made up of, you know, a huge amount of people from across the globe, filtered, filtered. I always use the word filtered, filtered down or narrowed down by Microsoft. Um, and they filter them based on passion, right? So you have like them, the, the best among the best people, among the best students, not by greed, by passion. Because passion outweighs everything, right? So, and these people have been brought together to, you know, share their resources with you, to grow with you, to create a huge network with you. And that is the MSP community. So the MSP community essentially bring a huge amount of people from across the globe to be able to collaborate and share, you know, um, their knowledge to one another. So you you don't find this. I don't I don't think I've seen it. I've existed in some communities before. I've not seen any of this before, right? So the MSP community gives you a huge amount of benefit for you to be able to, um, you know, scale up, level up your 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 knowledge, and then um, um, get all the all the mentorship from the Microsoft employees, from your college students, from people who have huge amount of experience, and then build up from there. So that is the MSP community, right? That's a simple way I can describe the community for you. Because if you look at what I'm trying to project in my slide, I'm trying to tell you the connection, the collaborations that we have as Microsoft student partners. Now, when I think about most of the things that is happening within the community, I have gotten on a personal interactions, day-to-day -day level with a huge amount of people. I, I really don't have much time, but I try to once in a while get on, you know, a call with some of the MSPs within the community, and I have basically learned a lot about the journey. So one of the few things I have learned is that they, they say that, um, um, for instance, there are some people who, uh, let me just share this particular one with you. So um, one of the MSP, I don't know whether he would like his name to be disclosed, so I'll just keep it secret, but he is from Egypt, and um, he said that um, that would when I got on a call with him, he told me that that would, I, 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 you know, I lived in Saudi Arabia, so um, I mean, spoke Arabic and all those, and I, I, I left later to Egypt because that's where I come from, and in Egypt I attended an interview, and the test they gave me, I scored more than eighty percent. They were really impressed, but they said I had one problem. So I said, mm, "What was it?" And he said that it was language barrier. Like I couldn't speak proper English. So he is really good in terms of what he does, but the language barrier, language is actually a problem, you know, um, for him. And he said, and this is the best thing I've gotten in the MSP community. And um, shout out to um, um, Salman. Um, he mentioned to me that Salman actually helped him um, has been sending him some, you know, voice notes, if I got it clear. Um, and he learns from that. And one of the ways that he also learned is that he learned from some of us by getting on a call with us, right? So in the MSP community, trust me, I don't know whether people get bored. <laughs> That's what I keep asking myself, whether people get bored. Because when you're bored, come on the community, come on, just come on teams. You find someone to talk to, right? So he keeps communicating with people and it's getting better at you know learning english and he told me what is the best way to learn a language than you know talking to people um it also some people come into the community and then they are introvert if you've listened to the gold student partner podcast on msp inspire right here on the channel youtube channel you are um you can just you know after this you can check it up um in the episode two um i think we've even released another episode i mean we are putting it into bits so he has a specific one um so some people say that they were introvert, but the MSP community has made them, you know, um, gone out of that and they are able to share, you know, the real light within them with other people. So this is, these are some of the problems that the MSP community is addressing beyond code. It's not just code. We are not just sharing code. We're sharing things which are beyond code. And some people also talk about identities, right? Um, 
So some people are building their social media skills, I mean, identities through the MSP program, right? They are able to share um, on Twitter, hashtag, and then they get Microsoft Imagine Cup, MSP Inspire, and a huge amount of people to retweet about what they do. And even when they write a blog, they get someone to, you know, um, quickly retweet, um, I mean, tweet about a blog. They make some videos and Imagine Cup, you know, tweet it, stuff like that. So it's really huge and people are building their identities on the on social media. Um, the last thing I would just talk about is cultural difference. Um, you might be living in Ghana, like me, and you've not lived in um, UK, you've not lived in India, and you don't know how exactly people, you know, um, cultural beliefs are in their culture. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you don't know exactly what, you know, they, they share over there. But um, when I talk about cultural difference, then I'm talking about the various beliefs, behaviors, language, best practice and expressions considered unique to members of a specific ethnicity, race or national uh, nationality or national origin. Right. So uh, so this these are things that we get to learn from each other automatically. We don't it's not just about code. We get to learn about how each other behave. What I would say to offend someone who is in the U.S. Probably when I get to U.S., someone wouldn't, st uh, you know, I wouldn't step on someone's toe because I already, you know, interact with people from that region. Right. So and and the beautiful thing is that you can travel to U.S., Egypt, um, Dubai today and then you have friends. Become virtually, I mean, the MSB community has given you all those stuff, right? So we are getting to learn about each and each other's beliefs and culture, and all those things are amazing things that the MSB community is providing. So my name is Dawood Idris. I have huge amount of things to always share with you. Um, I just took a bit of what you know my journey looks like to share with you, and um, I'm sure in some couple of um, other MSPs episodes and co, I would get to share more insight with you. But I love you all, and I love the community. I love whatever we've been up to. Just keep doing the amazing work. One thing you just need to keep doing is that challenge yourself and do the new things. Thank you. Dawood, we have a question. Okay, go on, Ashita. Yeah, um, Dawood, are you here? Uh, yes, I'm here. Yeah, so we had a question for you in one of the forms filled out by the people. It said, I want to know about being a gold MSP. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, so I will just take that first question now. And if you have other ones, you can let me know. But um, they want to know about being a gold MSP. Today, <laughs> Early, earlier today, I mean, six hours ago or seven hours ago, I got on a call with one um, Indian student partner. He got in touch with me, LinkedIn. We spent like five days to just schedule a call. We never get on it before. So one of the questions was just this particular question, how to become a good Microsoft student partner. So I said that, you know, to become an Alpha 2 student partner, it's easy, right? Um, you just need to um, um, complete a learning path, I guess. Um, to get to beta, you have to um organize one event yes. now the journey in beta you organize a lot of events but the lot of events you do may may help you but it's not really um the criteria you you don't say that i organized 10 events 15 20 so i must be a good student partner no so the good student partner pro uh, i mean selection is not defined it's not anything defined in any book any anywhere so it's only selected by i mean the global program manager and the operation team uh i think the cpms as well now uh, now that we have them um so they come together and then they select people based on you know the unique qualities the exceptional leadership skills that have executed within you know the community it could be through organizing a lot of events it could be true i mean aside the event then they have something extra and we recorded it uh, uh, i mean we had a gold student partner podcast i mentioned it earlier on this channel right here so you can just check it up and learn about you know how exactly these people executed the different aspects to get to gold level okay so there's no definitive path but just keep being you. That's what I would say because I was me. I was just being Dawood. I was being the guy that wants to help everyone. I was being the guy that was looking at problems, core problems that are supposed to be solved, like you know, bringing you know huge amount of MSPs together to be able to collaborate, organize weekly, um, inspire sessions, and all those stuff. I was looking at the new thing, right? So what I would say is that to become a gold MSP, maybe you need to do a new thing, right? You don't need to cut and uh, cut and paste. 
<laughs> so find a real you. They are looking for the exceptional leadership within you. So that is how you become um, a good MSP. Just execute the exceptional um, qualities within you and you'll be selected. Okay, okay thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for, for your answer. answer. And uh, also for your talk, such an inspiring talk. Thank you very much. Um, now we'll move right. on to... Sure, thank you so much as well. Um, Are you here, Ibrahim? Rahim, can you hear me? Okay, we're seeing your screen, but we're not hearing your voice. Do you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Go good. On. And, uh, uh, thanks for having this amazing session of sharing experiences and some amazing stories. Uh, so today I'm doing my journey uh, as an MSP uh, here in Algeria. Uh, first of all, I will introduce myself. I'm Brahim Kalou, an, uh, an MSP from Algeria. And this is uh, my second year as an MSP. And actually, I'm a beta MSP. And uh, so today we are going to talk about or share some uh, my journey with the, as an MSP. I'm going to talk about joining the MSP program, how I joined the MSP program, and what are the training sessions and events you may organize or uh, and the, 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 the events that I organize. Maybe it will inspire you, inspire you to organize uh, the same event. And I will go to talk about the MSP Summit and how I've been selected for this uh, summit. And uh, in the end, I'm talking about how the MSP program helped me uh, as a student. So joining the MSP, before joining the MSP two years ago, I was always uh, organizing and participating events with my club. So I was with a club uh, called CSU, which CSU, CSU which is uh, the which is a big uh, club here in Algeria so we are going we are we are uh, we were organizing events and hackathons and as an organizer in this event i know the msp program and after that i applied uh, for the program so and what makes me what what uh, the thing that uh, helped me to be accepted as an msp is organizing this event and hackathons. And then I started my journey as an MSP. So the first, uh, the first event I, I organized with uh, my uh, teammates, Algerian teammates, uh, is uh, the Hour of Code. I know you guys all you know the, the, the Hour of Code, which is a simple uh, event for kids. But I encourage you for, for the, the, the person who are who afraid for public speaking or Publishing in uh, or presenting uh, in the in public. I encourage you to start with this event, which is a very simple event, and it will push you and encourage you to organize other events, other big events. Uh, and after that, yeah. So after that, I I start to organize uh, some big events, and uh, this one is uh, the local hack day. Maybe you know the local hack day, which is a big hackathon, which is a local hackathon. You can organize this uh, this hackathon with your community. It is it is amazing. 
And during this uh, event, there was uh, 250 participants, so which, which encouraged me a lot to, to organize sessions and uh, training sessions and workshops. So we covered many technologies, Microsoft, uh, we covered many Microsoft technologies here in this event. And uh, after that, I, will, I, I tried to organize many training sessions on other main systems like, like this one, which is uh, creating a chatbot with Microsoft Azure QA Maker. This, is, this, this event is with my teammate Abdel Khalaq here in Algeria. And uh, this, this is what makes me always uh, encourage me and pushing me to organize and helping my community. And always the participants were, and always the, the community and participants were happy to learn these new skills. And believe me, if you are an active MSP who helped the community, for sure you will be selected to the MSP Summit. And MSP Summit was just an amazing opportunity. It is, it is a good chance to meet with many MSPs from the globe exchanging with them, networking with them, and see what, are, what, what they are uh, participating, what, what they are organizing in their community. And so they will inspire you to work and give all what you have. Also, this, during this summit, we've learned new, new skills and new technologies. And it, is a big, and it is a big opportunity to attend the Imagine Cup Regional Final. So attending the Imagine Cup Regional Final or like watching the uh, Imagine Cup Regional Final will, will encourage you to participate the next year. So I encourage you a lot to organize events in your community, help in your community, and for sure, Microsoft will select you for the summit. Also, during the MSP, hockey, uh, the MSP summit, Microsoft Student Partner, they organized for us an open hack, which is a hackathon between the MSPs. And it was a great chance to apply what we've learned during the, the summit, like cognitive services, like uh, custom vision. And we, 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 could, we could create a project just in 24 hours. Also, during the summit, and uh, importantly, we, we, were, uh, we got second place. So we got, we, we got uh, the chance to, to present our project in micro Microsoft Ignite the tool. Maybe you know all the Microsoft Ignite tool, which is, in, uh, which is uh, the, like, like uh, uh, she's, um, here, the, here the, the, the companies, IT companies come and present their, uh, their solutions based on Microsoft technologies. So this is a great chance to 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 uh, to like meet with experts and ask them by yourself. Always uh, and uh, also how the MSP program helped me. The prog the MSP program helped me by giving me free resor free resources like you know Azure Visual Studio Visual Studio for enterprise for. Uh, like it helped me a lot to make applications, .NET applications, Azure. Uh, actually, I'm working for a project which needs a virtual machine. Azure, Azure helped me a lot to uh, to like uh, to make uh, my project. Something something else is the, the MS people who helped me by giving me the opportunities to participate in big, ha big hackathons. Before being an MSP, it was often, I was often being accepted in big hackathons, but after being an MSP, an active MSP, the, all, the, all the hackathons that I participated, they accept me. So I participate, for example, in NYU ID Hackathon, those Hack Hackathon, Junction Hackathon, and Hack the North Hackathon. The, the, this is our. These are the big. Uh, these are big hackathons in the world. And finally, how the MSP program helped me helped me by enhancing my skills and boost my career by learning new technologies, learning up leadership skills, enhancing my CV. So all all with this all with uh, the activity uh, the activities that I made with MSP. They enhanced enhanced my skills and boost my career.
Thank you, everyone, and thanks for having me. If you are, if you have any questions, I'm here. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Brian. It was very inspiring, all these events that you attended to. It was very, very, uh, very awesome. Uh, now let's move on, Vidant. You here, Vidant? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Brian, can you take your screen down so that I can just put my screen up? Yeah, I just... Uh, uh, let me know when the screen is visible. I can see it now. Cool, cool. So, thank you, Samir. Thank you, Samir, Akshita, and Usman, Dawood for great words, um, and Brian too. So, I'm Vidant Behel, and today I thought of seeing something related to community is love. So, and I'll give you the reason why, by telling my journey throughout Microsoft Student Partner, and how it made, how Microsoft Student Partner became my girlfriend. The only girlfriend I have is Microsoft Student Partner. So, it's like, uh, it wasn't love at first sight, so it's like love within the experience that I had. So, let's follow that. Okay, so before that, about me. So I'm Microsoft Student Partner, a beta level Microsoft Student Partner since uh, September 2019. I am chapter chair for IEEE Computational Intelligence Society Student Run Chapter at GHRC. I'm a researcher in the field of data science and machine learning. I'm founder of Data Deals. Data Deals is a company where we provide AI and BI solution for medium and small size enterprises. And I, as you can see, the flags over there. We are currently operating in India, UAE, specifically Dubai, and United States uh, at Palo Alto. So it's like a global organization. And I'm also co-founder of Medalysis. I'll tell you about Medalysis forward in my slides. So that's about me. And as you can see on the right hand side, resource, 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 resource. That's what I love. And that's what revolves around me. So I love research. As Sammy told you, uh, how I manage my research. As Usman told you, how I publish papers. So thank you for that. And that's what tells me tells that I'm so into research. Those are my Twitter and LinkedIn uh, usernames. So you can connect to me over there, and I'll be happy to connect with you. Moving further, why community? So if your reaction is same, it won't be same any longer. So why community? Community is something which gives you a lot of things. So it's something which gives you a lot of things. And really, I cannot define it in a sentence or a paragraph because it's like never ending. So I would like to answer this by telling what community gave me. I get peer connection. Amazing MSPs all around the globe are here connected on Teams. And it's like, Wow, amazing. You have so many people who are connected to each other. And um, and if, if in case you need any help, you have people whom you can reach. They are the people who are resonating at your own frequency. By that, I mean their thoughts are pretty similar to what you are. And uh, sometimes I experience that I connect with them more. Although they are virtual, still I connect with them more than the people who are in person with me like who are in my university on campus but i connect with people who are virtual but are more um, uh, who share more things with me so they're really that what i say as peer connection and i am empowered this is really a society which empowers you to learn to share to you know get help whenever you go down you can just reach out to anyone and a person will help you there are people who are into each and every domain there are people who are into dotnet there are people who are into cloud. There are people who are AI, ML. You need help, just reach out and uh, catch one person and reach out to the, the, that person. And that person will be ready and ever ready to help you. And that's the reason why they are in this community. They're here to help you. So that's what, that's what I say. Help is ever ready. And the most important thing is there in red, which is happiness. Because this community is something which keeps me happy. And um, whenever I just feel down, I just get into teams and there is something or the other happening, I join the call and it's really so soothing and pleasing because the community keeps you happy. 
because not, we are not only into we are not geeks who are all, uh, only into tech or just talking about tech and stuff we play games as out told we created this minecraft room and we were playing along and that's fun that's really fun so uh, global connection as i was talking about so i went for a research conference in dubai in december 2019 and i thought of oh msps are everywhere let's meet some of them and there i met prashant who is a msp at dubai uh, just a minute can you guys listen to me can you hear me because i guess i i'm having some network yeah, yeah we can hear you we can hear Once you we can. cool 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 uh, okay so he's prashant from dubai an msp and i met him at emirates star dubai we had a small meet up and it was fun you make global connection and wherever you go let it be any part of the world you have people whom you can contact way before and ask how things to be done you need, you, need, you can crack it down hey, hi guy hey man i'm coming to dubai and um, i wish to do this and that can you help me out how to plan it up plan it up and stuff and that's amazing similarly antony came to india antony is msp from uh, canada he is from colombia but he studies at canada we came to india for one of the summit and at the same time it was in parallel with the india summit he came there and it was like antony could ask for help from us and he it was easy for him to manage around traveling to in india so that's how community helps you you go to any part of the world you have and you have people whom you can rely upon getting back to msp india summit which i attended in january and there you see two pictures one with aparna the community program manager for india uh, from for msp from india and on the right hand side you see pablo the program manager for microsoft student partner from seattle and it was fun meeting them and other people like arko uh, vivek shridhar who are employees at uh, microsoft and it was great meeting them they were so inspiring better than that not better i would say one of the most best thing best thing which happened was meeting the fellow msps like we were connected virtually before on teams but meeting them in person was wow amazing but and it was really fun this is one of the picture from the 2020 india summit like the group picture where you can see all of the members community a large group of people whom we connected with and talked with each other other event if you see uh, there on the top on left hand side over here uh, that's the uh, event which we organized at microsoft office in delhi and uh, there i spoke on research and how to get into research and some related stuff i delivered a speech with um, ambika she is from uh, she is msp from delhi and we were other uh, there were other msps who took up some of the other topic and presented over there and it was really fun i mean uh, what do you want speaking at microsoft office itself is as a student is itself a great thing and wow that was amazing on the right hand side top you here you see uh, the group uh, photo where of the event which i conducted with some of the msps it was the mlh local hack day uh, which i conducted in december and uh, it was really fun it was a large great group of people we came together and they built few things we had fun and there was a lot of innovation that happened on the left hand side at the bottom you see it's the there was one of the um, innovation competition for school students happening in my city and uh, i thought oh why not go there and tell them about the imagine cup junior so myself started with this imagine cup junior which is a global hackathon for school students and they can present whatever you know, innovation they made and i went there in that innovation contest and told all the school school students about the um, imagine cup junior and well it's shameful that the school students are have great height than me so <laughs> they're like taller than me <laughs> i need to work up on my health and height <laughs> so in the middle you see in the middle photo is the summit at nigeria and i was uh, i presented there virtually with Salman Tabu there Ganesh and it was fun and on the right hand side it's the another picture from the um India uh, uh, MSP Delhi event which we organized and there you see Antony in the group picture over there so he came from Canada right for this event moving further research which i was talking about research 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 so research is fun i am 
a lot of interest in research. I have also delivered some of the seminars and workshop as uh, a researcher in Microsoft at IEEE. Uh, for now, as you can see in my profile, I have published three research papers, uh, but there are four to five research papers in the pipeline, which I am assuming will get published by June or July. Uh, research interests me because it's fun. You get the when you go for conference, as, as I told, like go, went for the conference at Dubai, so it was like a sponsored conference, and it was fun traveling for free. And I really helps you to travel for free for two different areas, two different conference. I'm also selected for this uh, conference of I really, which is happening in Bangladesh uh, in June 2020. But I don't, I don't know. Maybe due to lockdown, I won't be able to do go there. But definitely, I'll present there as virtually, and it's fun um, because you get to know a lot of researchers from various part of the world. And uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, so it's fun when you get to meet people from various part of the world, various researchers. You get to know about what researches researchers are in trend going on on around, and I'm into that. So, I, as you can see, I worked on swarm intelligence based system knowledge discovery, which is educational data mining, uh, on quantum intelligence system, which is like a interdisciplinary field of quantum uh, systems and machine learning. I helped one of the MSP from Pune. Parag to uh, get his paper published in IEEE and uh, fortunately he presented his paper and got it published on uh, just x-rays and that was fun and also one of the another MSP from Dhruv uh, from Kanpur who is Dhruv uh, got help for his con uh, for his paper which again got accepted for an IEEE conference and this is fun that I'm uh, this is how I con I'm contributing to the community to get people into research and getting a research paper published in a great journal is a big thing. So it's like a big, big, big thing because, uh, you know, people like who are doing PhD and your professors are into this thing. And when you get to that level, you start resonating with your with the people who are pursuing PhD and the people who are professors. So I love research. And that's about research. Moving further about my startup, Medalysis. So Medalysis is uh, a healthcare startup. It's a health tech startup. Currently, we are focusing on the product Infinity. Infinity is a device called mobile application. So that mo uh, device throws some kind of lights on the breast lump. And uh, when a person clicks a photo from the mobile application, the abnormality is detected if there. So the if you can see this mobile application preview where it, it says tumor found probability 70.45%. And it gives you advice, please visit a doctor immediately. So it's a project which I started with back in 2018, and this is really fun because I'm working for the community. Um, cancer is a deadly thing. I mean, uh, I myself experienced, it is very unfortunate that I myself heard about three deaths in this week itself, in the like one uh, continuously for three consecutive days before this day. And it, all of them were due to cancer. There were like two Bollywood celebrities, the people make it in, know about who died due to cancer and there was one of the uh, neighbor to my house who died of cancer specifically breast cancer and this is very disheartening that cancer is a very deadly thing and it doesn't have a cure but early if early detected it can be cured early detection is the best cure that cancer has and there were with my team i'm working on breast cancer detection and um, i'm we are already done with our device so currently the cost for cancer detection in India is mammography, which is around 10,000 rupees. And um, in Indian rupees, it is, it is 10,000. And the device which we have made, this does the test for 100 rupees. So if you can imagine its test, it costs 100 times lesser than the traditional cost. So that's the innovation we have made. And we are already ready with the device. We have done the testing at a primitive level. And uh, once the lockdown is over, we'll be soon launching it. And it will be like uh, no profit kind of thing. And um, it will be for the community, for developing the community, giving out breast cancer tests only for 100 rupees. That's amazing. Uh, so concluding remark, so com coming to the conclusion, uh, I say in the community, what community gives you is the insight for where you can work upon. 
so there are people whom i see are not happy for where they are right now so i tell them please introspect the place where are you right now is it the same place where you see yourself to be happy in it needs to be same you need to make this equation where the place you are right now and the place you want to see yourself happy in should be same don't just you know go ahead with anything just because it gives you uh, some kind of temporary fame or temporary happiness look for something which gives you happiness at a long term and something which may be tiring at a moment which may be exhausting at at a moment because to get a long term happiness you need to uh, uh, put efforts so as people said before me usman and dabud and uh, 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 that keep putting efforts and continue this dream of putting effort and that will get you a lot of things and to know which thing will keep you happy you need to do a me search not a research so do a me search before you start with a research and definitely you will find a way to how to keep yourself happy and how to engage in the community and this community like a micro student partner will definitely help you get know what keeps you happy so msp is a new developer globe what i call because in last few months i have presented in these six countries uh, two of them in person like india and uae and the rest of them virtually so it was really fun yeah, it's a developer globe so that's about my first student partner and how community is love that's my presentation and that's how i com- that's how my first student partner became my girlfriend so these are my twitter and linkedin handle connect to me and uh, you can uh, i can help you i'll be i'll love to connect with you so before ending this i have few questions which i received in the registration form which i would like to answer so i'll quickly do that because we are running out of time and uh, yeah uh, okay so uh, the question is how can i be a ceo of a multinational company so as i said just keep working in the field which you love and your efforts will definitely come true hard work pays off definitely i've experienced that and many of the msps have even experienced that keep on doing good things and good things will come back to you and uh, if your determination is strong enough you will be ceo one day how to boost career in ml so uh, start with ml i see is not like a once you are done with a uh, basic theory you should start with implementation it's more about practical than about theory when you start with practical you learn side by side and impl- implement it that's how i learned ml and that's how i suggest people to learn ml microsoft is not coming in most of the campuses so please discuss training or opportunity for such students now this is something which i have a good answer for so microsoft is not coming to most of the campuses or let's say a great companies are not coming to most of the campuses so you know uh, this is the era where you don't see what is happening in com- in campus or something uh, now the companies are shifting towards online where they are not going to campuses each and every campuses rather they are putting an online form out where you fill your process you have get a interview a virtual interview or maybe in person interview at some office and you get into it so the only thing which you require to compete with people who are into good campuses is just the internet and you be in any campus or any college in any university you have internet you just need internet and you can just compete with people all around the world so internet is the thing just get internet the difference the only difference between people sitting there in united states and here in india is the speed of internet that's it nothing else so internet is there and internet has got a lot of resources and uh, definitely don't focus on what is coming into your campus or how university is ranked into my university as per the ranking system of india is really not that good because we have like iits nits triple it standing way beyond at heights but my so student partner got me a lot of things and uh, that, uh, and it my university didn't you know it wasn't my because uh, like getting into i wasn't into a great university i was into a normal university and i got a lot of things and i got into a lot of things i could start with my startup and uh, my startup is operational in three countries so don't focus on what is in campus just focus on what you want and internet is the thing where you can get it so there were these were some of the question which i got and i answered uh, one more question 
uh, any tips for the application developers so yeah application development is like a great thing people are into it and i don't have any tips but then uh, keep working on the things and focus on what you uh, like keep working don't just disappoint or discourage by if you're not getting success because success is a thing which uh, may come late you know the thing is life is like a train or a flight you and with a boarding pass where you have only the boarding station and boarding time but you don't have the destination and the duration or the uh, reaching time so by and that even you cannot decide the duration so by the time you have that duration running just focus on taking your destination uh, uh, beyond and beyond just keep working on it people say msp has its benefits they say give all kind of support my question is what kind of support you need you know there are many supports like uh, it was covered in earlier presentations about the uh, different kind of softwares and um, teams and the uh, how you get benefited in the in your interviews for internship and for working at microsoft but what i believe is more than this the support which you get as a community from your peers is way beyond everything so the support you get from other student partners is really way beyond and uh, that's the best support that you get and trust me i don't see any other community which is so connected globally there, there are many communities but they are like limited to some nations or if, even if they are global only people inside that nation or specific group of people are interacting with either each other but microsoft is a community where you are interacting with each other globally and i am very happy to say that i have friends from uk salman from algeria samir from pakistan usman from india a lot of people from dawood from ghana and that's that's really the thing which inspires me the most and is the best benefit out of the microsoft student partner community so that was me vidant and um, thank you thank you all of the organizing committee for having me here It was great interacting over here, and thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Virant. Um, such a very inspiring uh, session you had. Uh, now we will move on on Simran. You here? Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, Simran. Wait, but like, what is over? Oh what's happening? Hmm. My screen is shared, right? And it's all. Yeah, we can see your screen. Hmm. And who's gonna? I don't have slides, so I'm going to play a slideshow of pictures from the India Summit, which is my most fond memory of being an MSP. Uh, am I clearly audible? Yes. Yeah, you are. Yeah. So, um, I'll start from before. I uh, got into being an MSP maybe, and uh, since a brief introduction was mine was uh, mine was given by Akshita before, uh, we'll delve into that as we go because there'll be certain things that that are now that came about through the journey. So I got to know about the MSP program in around January of 2019, and I thought that I wasn't qualified enough to apply for them. So. I didn't. I was like, man, okay, I'll just let it go. And then somebody came up to me and uh, told me to apply as a girl script chapter lead because girl script needs a girl chapter lead. And the person that spoke to me was a guy, so they you need uh, at least one girl chapter lead. I have a, a philosophy where I apply to certain things to get rejected. Apply to get rejected is sort of something that I believe in. So I applied there. I got selected and. the same person that told me to apply as a chapter lead for girl script asked me why don't you apply for the msp program and i said i'm not qualified enough i'm not going to do it but oh well he reminded me that the msp program exists so i went to the site i saw the application procedure i did that for about a week i procrastinated and somehow i ended up filling my application video included before the deadline and i didn't think about it after that i checked the the status of my application maybe for a week after filling the application and then i stopped thinking about it so 
to my surprise in the first week of september someday i woke up to an email from microsoft student partners telling me i am now a microsoft student partner and i'm like wait what i mean that's i didn't expect that to happen to me so i was elated but so the program started and we had uh, introductions on teams and that was the end of my interaction for them i stopped being active on teams i didn't really participate so what i did was a silent maybe i i saw the milestones i wanted to upgrade to alpha 2 i saw that i could take 60 days to do it i spent a month not doing it and then i did my learning path and i was just said i was literally doing nothing as an as an msp one fine day i ended up stumbling upon this post on teams calling for people that wanted to present in the msp inspire virtual call and i found that initiative to be very interesting and going into the initiative might take really long but it uh, everybody knows msp inspire is the channel that we are streaming on right now and uh, you you can find the virtual call videos on the channel as well it was a massive massive event so i signed up for that and that i believe was when my uh, journey as an msp actually started so uh, i got added to this group chat of people who were volunteering for the msp inspire virtual call and i started preparing for my slides and for my presentation unfortunately i could not present for the virtual call due to some certain health issues but i had gotten into a community completely where everybody was so supportive and so inspirational i couldn't i couldn't fathom the things people people were doing the virtual call came together with people from all around the globe streaming for 7 to 8 hours every uh, for two days continuously and hyping each other up helping each other out and i couldn't imagine this i honestly couldn't i did not think this was what i was coming into when i became an msp so i was surprised but uh, after the virtual call all these people so to name a few of the people that i came in touch with and i'm now really good friends with are uh, aditya obrai uh, shreya ekant who you will be hearing from in a minute vedant who you heard from just now salman who everybody is waiting to hear from dau then all these people that you can see in the pictures uh, some of them are microsoft employees but all the students of uh, people i met through the inspire group so yeah i was uh, i was a part of the virtual call team even though i did not get to present i ended up writing an article on it later an entire article covering the event so after that what being an msp gives you is this community that gives you inspiration to do things for yourself you know when you start out as an msp you don't know in which direction you're going to head at least i didn't so what i did was i spoke to all these people i got to know about vedant research and all uh, and all, uh, maybe everything that everybody was doing was so much more than anything i'd done and i had the resources at hand i had the knowledge that i could share i had the resources to gain knowledge that i could share and i was in doing it so i went out and planned my first msp event within 24 hours i decided i'm going to do this in my college and i created a microsoft form rotated and uh, you know circulated in throughout the college and within 24 hours this is the power of the microsoft student partner partner name we had 150 plus registrations so uh that was massive that was the first time i realized the power of the brand that we carry as microsoft student partners as ambassadors of microsoft of technology in our own universities and communities that first event was what this is today actually uh telling people what the msp program is and how they can move from it the msp program has given me inspiration to be a better community leader to be a better tech uh, to be a better person overall really i've met so many people so many brave kind inspiring people through this journey they've all helped me evolve as a person in the community so 
I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And then the India summit happened. I got to meet some of these amazing people I'd been speaking to. I got to meet Pablo, Arko Diti Saha, who's the DevRel for Cloud and AI at Microsoft. Uh, Pragati Ogilrai, ma'am, she is an absolute inspiration. Everybody is an absolute inspiration. Then I, uh, and Aparna, all of these people. Also, one very interesting thing happened when I was at the summit. They announced that they were going to be giving the beta swag kit. And I wasn't upgraded to beta yet when I was, when I went for the summit. So, and the swag kits are something to be jealous of. And everybody there that I knew was trying to get, make me jealous of those swag kits. So I opened my student partner ID and I'm like, please, please, please let me be upgraded to beta. And that was when I was upgraded. That was an amazing moment. I don't know. I just felt great. And all these people are like, go get your swag kit. I didn't get mine because they were giving it close to only uh, till December. But that is the kind of support we get from this community. All these people that I have met, I have not met, have supported me uh, in learning new technologies, in uh, pursuing different fields of community and tech that I thought I wouldn't be pursuing so early on. I've looked into research, uh, which I thought was only possible to do under a professor until I was a part of this community and I realized that you could start research on your own you could do research so after that gradually the summit by far has to be the ba- has to be the best experience of my entire journey as an MSP if you get an opportunity to attend an MSP summit do not waste it because the summit is organized by the people at Microsoft with you in mind they have amazing amazing content for you but also the people that you meet the people that have become your friends virtually it's a great feeling realizing that you have friends all over the world as Vedant said and it's amazing the summit was amazing I'm sorry I I did not prepare much so I've just gone blank for a second so after the summit I came back even more uh inspired to do more things and I did my first event as a beta MSP in the beginning of February and that went really well again the power of the Microsoft student partner name I had over 250 registrations while I had a venue of 50 people I had to shortlist people for the event so the event was on the basics of Git and GitHub after which the lockdown happened I was planning to do a series of open source events after that So the lockdown happened and I've been recently involved in a lot of the MSP Inspire events, have hosted uh, two of them alongside the amazing Inspire team. It's been a great journey as an MSP so far. And I, what does the community give you is a lot more than what uh, the resources that you get as an MSP. The resources matter. I will not deny that. The resources are something that aid our learning. But what the community gives you in terms of support and inspiration is equivalent, if not much more. So I'll move forward to the questions that I had gotten. I had, surprisingly, I had three questions. So uh, the first one was obstacles faced as an MSP and ways to overcome. Um... One of the main ob- obstacles that I can talk of are the feeling that you're one of the people that is the least qualified to be here because everybody's doing so well and you feel like you just can't match up. So the way to overcome this is talk to the people that are doing so well, you know, talk to these people. And they'll tell you how they got there and they'll help you get there. I haven't gotten there yet, but I have overcome this obstacle of uh, something that I realized a few days ago is called the imposter syndrome. So, yeah, the second question is people say being an MSP has its benefits. They say they give all kind of support. What support do you get? Well, what support does Microsoft get is elaborated in the question and further. So what support Microsoft gives us is something that I uh, was discussed in the presentation earlier, but I'll 
just reiterate mm-hmm. quickly we get a hundred and fifty dollars azure credits per month and we get access to uh, all the visual studio code benefits and we have access to a uh, office 365 suite and we've got teams where uh, microsoft teams is a part of the suite which is a, a digital communication channel and it gives us this community as i said the third question was being an msp do you have to be excellent with coding or can you begin being decent good in famous uh, in few domain <clears throat> as i think daud had uh, pointed out earlier what's important to be an msp is your passion for technology and for sharing your knowledge about technology with others your coding skills don't matter as much you should know how to code maybe i mean it's it's not exactly a compulsion because uh, microsoft also has this uh, technology called power platforms which the tagline for which is less code more power somebody that does not know to code can work on uh, making applications using power platforms so coding isn't mandatory to be an msp a tech background actually isn't mandatory to be an msp a passion for technology and a passion for sharing it is necessary to be an msp thanks a lot akshita and sameer and the rest of the organizers for having me thank you then we have a more question for you oh you too yes we we got it like few minutes before we even started it says what are the different opportunities that open up when you become an msp oh the different opportunities that open up when you become an msp mm-hmm. so yes. opportunity pull from across the world is one of them and um oh, i'm sorry i was distracted by msp uh, the opportunities that we get once you become an msp are uh, you have support to learn you have a lot of tech support coming from um, Uh, as an msp you've got learn and every ms learn and everything so you get a lot of resources to learn and uh, skill yourself that is a major opportunity in my opinion the other opportunity that you have is to build connections all over the world to meet new people to talk to them to understand them not just on a technological basis but also to uh, get to know the cultures of different places and everything which is again one of the really uh, major opportunities and other opportunities that you have is you get uh, an opportunity to be able to attend the regional summits and the regional inspire finals uh, the regional finals of imagine cup i'm sorry that happen so yeah and you get all the benefits that were mentioned and you get to you we have cloud advocate uh, extra credit or as it was called before cloud advocate happy hours uh, sessions taken by microsoft employees once every month wherein we get to learn about new technologies from them directly and ask them about them as well and yeah that that was be about it i think i've spoken a lot about and as you saw earlier there are uh, certain people who are aided in their intern in getting their internships to uh, as an msp that uh, the entire thing helps them being an msp helps them get an internship at microsoft it helps them in their interview it was mentioned in somebody's uh, story that samir had shared so a lot of opportunities open up i suppose does that answer the question Yes, it does. It but it was a really great talk, Simran. It was really inspiring. Thank you so much for being here. And next we have Ekanch Gupta, B time is from Microsoft. So Ekanch, over to you. Hi guys. So I am Ekanch, and uh, I am from Delhi NCR region. So uh, everyone is talking about communities and how Microsoft Student Partners have actually helped them a lot. yes it helps a lot actually so i would like to add one more point to everyone who is saying that msp is a great community msp helps to build another communities but 
actually the main motive of MSP was to help your local communities as well. So once there was this hackathon which was known as Hack Series, and it was Asia Pacific's first MLH hackathon, which was powered by Microsoft. And uh, there I met uh, Arko Dhuti Saha and uh, some amazing people from Microsoft as well who came down from Seattle and. Uh, I met Aparna as well the other day uh, when we went to the Microsoft India Summit and I got to know that you know if you are an MSP it's not necessary to promote uh, MSP everywhere. Yes you should be proud of it and it is actually a big achievement for people who are actually an MSP right now. But uh, the main tip that I got from Arco was that I was trying. I was flying down to London for uh, this event called Mozilla Festival 2019, and I asked Arko, "How can I incorporate MSP into my session?" And uh, my session was on web literacy, and I wanted to somehow do something and mention Microsoft Student Partners there. But the best tip that I got was that. You don't have to promote it everywhere. If you are an MSP, you need to empower people with knowledge. You don't have to just say that you are an MSP and it's good for you and it's good for everyone. Like there are 10 MSPs in UK in total, I guess. And there are like thousands and thousands of MSPs in the whole of Asia and like 800 plus MSPs in India only. But most of them are just trying to get to a status because of some competition and they are trying to push MSPs just because they want to add something on their CV or resume. But what I think is that you should help people who are not only with not only in this program or in the privileged society, but you should help people who are in the unprivileged as well. So this there was this initiative which we started with MSP, which was called the Open Source Roadshow. And we tried to just go to some tier three colleges and start with some basic knowledge about tech and all. So the most tech that I know of is how to use Git and GitHub because I am a GitHub campus advisor, so I have to learn about it. So I am from an electrical engineering background, so I don't code much and I use Power Platform a lot because they don't require coding. So uh, I found out that in tier three colleges in uh, like third year of their engineering, computer science engineering, they still don't have the knowledge of basic Git building and technology and anything like that. They just go through their textbooks, just pass their exams and somehow get placed somewhere. But what our main motive with that whole initiative was uh, to get more people learn about some industry level tech. So uh, you might not know, but uh, the next session is of Salman. Yeah, so Salman has been developing on .NET and C Sharp, which are Microsoft technologies for over five to six years now. And he's an incoming software engineering uh, in turn in Microsoft. Yeah, so like that person, Salman is some person who knows how to code, but people here in India are just going with C, C++, Java, Python because that's what taught in every other college. And we don't want to limit it there only. So what I told Previously, we wanted uh, to partner with Microsoft student partners. We wanted to collaborate with MSPs to build up our local communities as well. And secondly, uh, I would like to say that apart from all this building up and all this promotional activities that are going through MSPs on a daily basis and every event there is, I would like to say that yes, community is necessary. Community has like more than a number of people and nowadays MSPs have crossed like 2700 people uh, worldwide. But it doesn't mean that everyone is on the same page right now. And uh, I would like to share one of my shyries here. 
and uh, for the people who are not in india or doesn't know hindi i would like to say that shairi is a two to four line unerased poetry that will sum up my everything that i would like to say right now and i yeah so it is for the people who are new to anything or entering something new or starting their careers or starting or building their lives or want to get into msps want to build their communities want to do anything so there this is a shairi uh, that i wrote while i was call, while, while i was on call with uh, simran and aditya yesterday yesterday night which went on for like 5 hours plus so this is the shairi nay umr ke khud muktariyo ko kaun samjhaye कि कहाँ से बच के चलना है और कहाँ से जान, जाना जरूरी है सो द जिस्ट ऑफ दिस शायरी इज दैट येस इफ यू आर बिल्डिंग अ न्यू करियर और यू आर गोइंग थ्रू सम चेंज इन योर लाइफ और यू आर गोइंग टू सम इवेंट और यू आर ट्राइंग टू एंटर समथिंग न्यू यू शुड चूज योर बैटल्स यू डोंट हैव टू फाइट एवरीवेयर यू डोंट हैव टू लूज योर रिस्पेक्ट ओवर एनीथिंग you just have to collaborate the word community comes from the word collaboration and actually we need to collaborate a lot to get somewhere you can't just go on alone if uh, if you can see the screen right now the best uh, analogy i can come up with is like if you see my t-shirt there is this naruto it's an anime and the, it has like 700 plus episodes and the whole motive of that anime is like you can't do shit alone you have to collaborate you have to take your friends with you you have to build a community to fight everything you have to grow with your community you can't grow alone and i think that's actually it that's what i want to say um thank you very much chanj you, you finished yeah i am finished thank you sameer thank you akshita for calling me in thank you very much it was very inspiring so the last word was you, you have to find your name though <laughs> that's right okay thank you very much um thanks for the session and now we will move to our last speaker we will move the to most the most awaited one <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I, i guess you're here is we we I, i don't have to ask you okay salman i i, I will stop stop my screen go on. That's the dangerous experience you're going to do. Yeah. Uh. uh i uh, just a minute so sorry for interrupting you i guess in on youtube you are not audible he ha- he has such such a big mic 
Okay, yeah, so wow, that's very true. true. That's very true. You're not able. Such a big mic. Okay, so wow. No, no, no. I think so. You were speaking on Teams, but the voice wasn't going the on YouTube. Yeah, you're not audible on YouTube. You are so lucky today. You would have spoken thirty minutes in one way. Hey guys, please please tell us in, on YouTube uh, if he's audible or not. Someone someone talk and let me see. Talk and let me detect. No, you have someone says audio, set up probably. new audio capture on OBS. No, everyone up, else is audible except for Sanjay. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Everyone else is audible except Sanjay. Yeah. Do you want to deliver your speech? Like, yeah. do you want me to deliver your speech or something? He <laughs> could, could do that. Uh, okay, is that I'm audible? Sure. I've just re, re, re set up the same thing. Uh, yeah, hopefully. it's audible now. Yeah. Wow. That that's yeah, that's. Yes, we can hear you now. So this 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 thing here, this thing here is. Oh, so somebody's audible. saying it's not audible yet. Okay, now it is. Okay, OBS technical issues. Okay, great. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully speed through this. Uh, I'll not bore you. Um, but, uh, okay, let's, let's get back into this. Thank you for letting me know. Um, hopefully uh, we can get that. Uh, there's some sound in the background, some echo. Cool. Okay. So, okay. That, thanks for letting me know. Okay. So, define your journey, define your path. Uh, I'm, re I'm really grateful to be here amongst all these amazing Microsoft student partners. Again, you know, we're we're, we're all students, and um, it's, it's it's a pleasure to be here. Um, what I really really enjoy about this program is the community aspect. So, throughout this talk, I'm just going to be mentioning how how great this community is and how you know inspired I am to you know have all of them here um, so yeah so at the beginning you know what happened in this picture I'll get to it later but have a guess it's going to be a personal anecdote basically and uh, I'll tell you how I got here as well so um, yeah first of all you know you've got to choose your mystery what exactly do you want to find in life uh, I've always been I guess a curious person in the sense where I've always been interested in how tech works how exactly I want to shape the world. How how eventually do I want to, you know, see the world through my own eyes, through my own lens? Okay, so at this point in time, I'm looking to the side, and you might wonder, okay, what exactly am I looking at? But that's my journey. You don't need to necessarily no, need to look into that. You could look into your own journey. For example, like beyond that, you can see in the trees. There's a golf course. You could see underwater. There's a whole, you know, uh, life. You know life this whole different life source a uh, whole world out there um you know in the distance you can see there's a small bush then you know there could be uh, a den there could be you know you could have a rowan and you could have rabbits and all those things so you know choose your own mystery everyone's path is going to be different so uh, it's not about always just trying to you know follow and replicate someone's path exactly that's why you know um i feel very you know uh, lucky to be here because I'm I'm that weird kid from school you know I've I've always loved wearing this school bag it's only like until last year I think I and eventually had to let go of this bag it was like nine years I had it um, you know what's re remained the same though is my personality uh, what I've wanted to do you know you know you need to be yourself don't let anyone change who you are and um, you know that's really special don't ever change who you are for anyone else and I think that's something which uh, should always be reminded because you know there's there's always going to be people who might want to change who you are but um it's about sticking to who you 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 are true to yourself okay um there could just be one person and if this this is going to be me that one person who tells you to stay uh true to yourself and to give you that motivation to keep doing what you're doing then let it be me okay just reach out to me and i'll tell you to do what you're doing and uh just pursue that so this is actually a picture before I was a Microsoft student partner, so my journey um, has started a long time before being an MSP in terms of the Microsoft ecosystem and everything. This was on stage at uh, BET 2019. I uh, uh, I was very you know lucky to be able to help uh, you know 
participate in this demo. And this is Make Code. So Make Code is a way to teach young children how to code. And you know, it's about giving back to those people. It's about trying to, you know, I was so lucky in the sense that I started coding when I was 10 years old. I didn't start C Sharp <laughs> six years ago, but it was like two years ago. Um, but like, I, I was lucky to start coding at that age. And it's, it's something which I want to give back. And, you know, Make Code is a way you, that you can do that. Um, it's about empowering every person and organization on the planet to achieve more, Microsoft's mission statement. Um, and you know, it's, it doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't, um, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're now 22, it doesn't matter if you're 30, it doesn't matter if you're you know, 12. Uh, it's about um, age is just a number. You know? Ask yourself, if you see a student who's trying to do the exact same thing that you're doing right now, that you're successful in now, wouldn't you want them to be in the same scenario that you are or in an even better stage? Uh, so like, uh, sometimes I don't, I don't understand, but some people I think like to push people down. You, it's always about bringing other people up, right? Um, there's no way I'm going to be doing a PhD in 1,000 subjects in a million subjects. So it's about me trying to empower those individuals who have that potential to go above and beyond what um, they expect they can achieve. And it's about um, making everyone else, the people you know, who, who aren't where they are, uh, are, want to be yet, but to make them uh, be tomorrow's future leaders, you know, Microsoft's old mission statement was to be what's next. So um, empowering everyone, you know, it's all about that. And, you know, I want to make people succeed more than I, uh, I ever could myself. And it's, uh, it's about, you know, trying to help the community in that aspect. Um, it's hard, it's hard to beat someone who never gives up. Okay. I'll tell you, um, I always mention this, the number one trait for success, there's five big personality traits. And the number one is actually <laughs> To, to be conscientious. So conscientious, conscientiousness is about keep trying, never giving up. You know, pursuing, keeping, uh, keeping consistent, and uh, making sure that you're resilient. Okay, I can, I can tell you like success might look like it's a straight line. It might look like it's just an uphill, uh, uphill road, but it's not. <laughs> okay, it's it's like a roller coaster. You're always going to have ups and downs. You're going to have things that uh, potentially will knock you down and but you have to get it's about getting back up from that it's about realizing that okay in the future maybe i will get there but maybe not now um it's that growth mindset that's what satya nadella always mention mentions you know in uh, hit refresh all these books uh coward Dweck, the psychologist um but it's, it's it's a very it's a very powerful mindset it's not just about hey i'm just talking uh motivational speak is actually is actually a thing and it's proven to work um, and that's what sh has been shown in studies where students um, who I think succeed the most are those who you know have that growth mindset um, so you know passion is key I've always had that passion for Microsoft technologies I started uh, as I said a long time ago in the Windows Insider program about five years ago within the first year of it starting and it's um, it's a way for me to learn about new features of the uh, of Microsoft and you know the, it doesn't it, that that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have this passion for Microsoft, but you know it's 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 that's where I that's where I fit in in that scenario. You know, it's about that community, uh, you know, hanging out with uh, other people who have that same passion. You know, these people all have that passion for you know Windows and Microsoft. Um, it's it's not that I I changed myself to be a Microsoft person. If I was to, you know, it's not the normal thing, I think, to be as enthusiastic as I am, I guess, about Microsoft technologies. But um, if I were to change myself to be like other people, I would probably be, you know, uh, you know, I guess lots of people do drugs, lots of people hang out, they do uh, smoking and all that stuff. That's the, I guess, the cool thing. But, you know, don't change yourself. Find people who have that same, uh, same thing as you, okay? Um, it doesn't m matter what region, you know. Uh, th like, these people, from across the world you have Donna Saka from you know uh, she's actually originally from Nepal but she works in uh, Microsoft uh, in America and you have all these people coming across the world you have Mary as well so Mary she sometimes watches our streams as well and it's amazing uh, yeah it's just uh, the community aspect uh, it's something I can never stop talking about. We have Chris Capsella here. He's the chief marketing o marketing officer of Microsoft. Uh, a bunch of amazing people here. Jason from the store. Uh, we have amazing people in this photo. You know, uh, here we have Phil. Phil is really key in the education market, uh, not market, the education <coughs> sector for Microsoft, which I really am inspired by. 
uh, again, okay, passion, keep your passion. So I have a passion for photography. Um, this is the Microsoft Store on the first day of its launch. And then uh, this is a bank monument in London. I took this in 2017 and submitted it to a competition and I ended up winning. But um, it's like, the, these are things you should still do. Still do competitions. Pablo always talks about how he loves cars. I talk about how I love photography. So keep doing those things. Um, you know, make it your life, make your passion your, make your passion your life. I never go to parties, my social events during, for uni, we're just going to Microsoft meetups. <laughs> and you know, you're doing it for other people at the end of the day. Teaching these primary school kids who don't have a, actually access to technology at all, uh, this was again before the MSP program, um, it's about keeping, keeping up with that, keep doing all these things for, in a selfless manner. You're not doing it for yourself, but you're trying to give back to the community. Uh, a girls only school we are teaching how to do coding as well um you know showing them just how 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 amazing uh, it can be and it's it's really inspiring uh, i i never thought i would ever build a hololens project again this was before the msp program as well but it's like uh it, there's things which you never expect but they it's like just keep doing what you're doing if you do good things i guess good things might come to you uh you know keep having that interaction with the community again. These are these are some MSPs. Yeah, so they could get tired. Pardon. Wait, what? Sorry. Um, Simon, I think I think you unmuted. Um. Oh, so sorry. I'm just. It's okay. Um. So basically, these are some MSPs from the UK. Okay. Um. These are some MSPs from the UK, and you know, this is just one event we did with the with the UCL Microsoft. Um, you know, it's, we, we created a, you know, a long everlasting relationship and, you know, we all connect and we all have that, you know, passion, um, just taking the time because having a meeting, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, the, the main focus is how has, you know, Microsoft making a difference for me as a student, you know, I've never thought I would get anywhere close to a company like Microsoft. Um, you know, just one, like I was saying before, if I can be that person who gives you that small bit of motivation to think that, okay, maybe you can get into the program, maybe you can work at Microsoft, um, you know, I will be that person. So reach out to me on Twitter, Simon MKC, if you do want me to tell you about that or, you know, LinkedIn. Um, and it's, have, have, have a goal, have a North Star that you're aiming for. It doesn't, it doesn't, don't, doesn't have to be small, make it as big as you want, you know. Um, and you keep working to that over time and, you know, I think results will come. Um, Stephen, Stephen, I love his passion for, for the education sector. Uh, I met him at about 2019 and we both sat Microsoft exams um, and you know th that's why we have the same lanyard um, um, so that's Microsoft Technology Associate uh, lanyards and it's we, he was a market working at Microsoft then I wasn't either um, I'm not yet but um, so the thing is we we have that technology and we kept doing what we're doing and now he's working at Microsoft and now I'm an incoming intern at Microsoft so it's like it's it's about doing what you enjoy and eventually things might happen you know if you really are passionate and you you are really true to yourself again these are some amazing people like i keep advancing the slide but yeah this chasing from the store we we we're all just at this event this is <laughs> like uh elaine she's also uh, key in the education sector again phil we were just at an event together this isn't like oh uh an official microsoft thing but it's like hanging out with the community in that awesome way this is uh, this is Pete Gallagher, he's an MVP uh, for Microsoft as well, and it's, it's amazing, uh, you know, this is Dominic. So if whenever people ask me about <laughs> questions about Teams and they want improvement to Teams, I reach out to Dominic. And, uh, Dominic is a PM for Teams education, and he's really, really, really amazing. Uh, he works in America on uh, Teams, and it's, uh, you know, he, the, the, the changes they're making right now, and I can tell you there, there, are, there are more features which I've spoken to him about and they're, they're all going to be amazing. So hopefully you'll be uh, intrigued and uh, excited to see what happens. Um, you know, doing this for your community again, like it doesn't matter if you, you know, if you're, you're just a student amongst thousands of people, um, just, just, just teach them. Like te uh, as a quote which was mentioned before, you know, uh, knowledge is wasted if it's not shared. So, you know, it doesn't matter if, if, if if you d you don't know more than other people in another area, if you know something more than uh, them in this specific area, then teach them. I believe that any person which I meet can teach me so much and that I can t also potentially teach them as well. That's how you should ha you know, have every interaction in life. Uh, Brian, amazing, amazing person from which I've now met because of the MSP program. He, uh, you know, 
has showed us so much on Power Apps. He's spoken multiple times on our uh, on our uh, channel, and um, you know, uh, being able to reach out to him and ask him for help on Power Apps whenever we get stuck, uh, having him guide us. Uh, I wouldn't have had this opportunity before. Uh, this well, this was before the MSP program. But Chris Capacella again. Uh, what I really think is amazing the fact that he's this engaged with the community, being the chief marketing officer from Microsoft. He's like, like two levels or something below Satya Nadella, but he's disengaging with the community, and that's why I always want to do. I want to always be a tree. I want to grow, but also remain grounded, and always want to be humble and be able to connect with people, no matter uh, what people think of me. And that's why I feel, really feel weird uh, when people are like saying, "Oh, you're this and you're that." Like to me, I'm just the same as you. I'm just another individual. I'm like a kid, okay? I was literally in school like two years ago. So like, uh, they don't treat me as if I'm like some special thing. I'm, I'm just the same as you. So uh, that's always the way I want, I want to be, <laughs> okay? The, the, <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, one thing's for sure. We have to do something. We have to do the best we know how at the moment. And if it doesn't turn right, we can modify it as we go along. So don't be scared. Uh, again, with the Microsoft Student Partner Program, apply to it. It doesn't matter if you don't get in because you'll just apply next quarter. Um, it's open all year round. Uh, if, you, if, you, if there's something which you're not so good at now, just improve on it. It's that growth mindset, keeping, keeping on top of things. Um, yeah, wow, we've got a lot of slides. Um, support those around you. you know, sh shout out to Donna, Donna Saka. Uh, we've created a tribe group, <laughs> a tribal text group, where we just encourage people to do what their to-do list is. We tell each other what our to-do list is. And we're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do today. And we're like, okay, we will achieve this if you, if, if and like, we motivate each other to do that and things like that. Community first. Uh, she's such an inspiration to us, and it's it's, it's amazing, uh, you know. Um, like I've met so many cool people. Th this is a this is Arta. Arta is not even a computer science or a, com uh, a computer engineering student. It doesn't matter if you're not that. Um, he studies at LSE. I believe he does economics, and it's um, you can be one if you're not. Uh, uh, computer science. This is Ferdinand. He 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 was he's been in the Imagine Cup. He's he went to the finals um, last year, and he's uh, an MSP as well. It's super amazing to be able to just meet people and like collaborate on these events. Um, this is the community. I think this is in the Windows Insider community, but um, it, you might be able to see me here. Uh, this is the photo, <laughs> and like you know, it's that community aspect. Be just being able to work with so many amazing people in such amazing events. You know, the gold student partners, being able to interact with them. Uh, I don't know why people keep thinking I'm a gold student partner. Just to clear that up, I'm not. Uh, I, I don't think you should be concerned about the, 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 the you know, what rank you are. It's, it's everyone's on the same level, I think. You know, it's about how much you do. Your actions speak louder than words. If you're a gold Microsoft student partner, it doesn't mean that you're better than everyone else. It doesn't mean that you're worse if you're not a gold student partner. It's about what you do and what impact you make. I'm uh, really inspired to see Sambhav. Uh, the other day we spoke for like three, four hours at night time just like talking about, you know, how he's made such an amazing impact learning about each other. And like, it's, it's I do want him to do a whole talk like on this whole channel. So eventually we'll get that going, I hope. Uh, yeah, like uh, Mary, super inspirational, teaching us so much about the, you know, how, how, you know, storytelling is really important, how uh, it's about empathy and all that amazing things. She's, she she does the whole global head of internet thing, and um, she's really engaging with the community. So uh, none of this I don't think would be possible without uh, the program itself. Uh, you know, go to all these events, meet other people. It's not just about uh, your, your local community. Just just go to events around the country. I always travel between Nottingham and London. Uh, so just make take that extra step. You might meet someone you 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 will never forget. You know. Okay. So yeah. Um, there's me now, uh, a few months ago, and like, I'm really excited to be uh, joining Microsoft as an intern, uh, which will be for a year, so I'm really excited. And, uh, you know, anyone can do it, you know. Um, it's The MSP program itself has given me so much to talk about, you know, in the interview stage and everything. It's um, something which is, you're basically, you're basically, you have that passion already, so it, it, it will help a lot. I'll do a full video on my YouTube channel as well hopefully going into this. Um, I never thought I would be making HoloLens applications, things like that, it's all open source. And, you know, finally, you know, appreciate the small things in life. This is just me, when I was in hospital, I missed like five days of school because they, they thought I had something contagious, uh, but I didn't, it was all fine. They were just precautious. Uh, precautious. Um, you know, 
appreciate the small things in life. Yes, we're in lockdown. Yes, you know, we're struggling. I believe, you know, that you can make the difference that you want to see in life, okay? 50 years from now, 20 years from now, 10 years from now, even next week. So, you know, if this kid can do it, then you can too. I'm sorry if this is like uh, too long. <laughs> I, I, I try to rush through this. Um, I, I hope this ha gives you some, you know, inspiration. Again, if you do want to reach out to me on social media, you can. It's, you know, Twitter, Salmon MKC, uh, LinkedIn. Same thing as normal, but, uh, you know, I'm really, really grateful to be among such amazing Microsoft student partners. I'm grateful to be in this community, and I, I don't think I could ever wish for more. me done. That was a true inspiration. Yes, that was. That was an amazing talk, Salman. Oh, thanks. Okay, Thank you we very much, man. Samuel, when you, when you take a look at the comments on, on the live chat, you will be very, very blessed. <laughs> that was so yes. the live chat, your Twitter, and the MS Inspire group, you are flooded everywhere. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, this, uh, 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 thank you. Uh, <laughs> Tell us his words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I mean. The community is so good. The community, I just love it. Yeah. All of you guys are very inspiring and very awesome. Thanks to be what you are. Yeah, I mean, I'm so so inspired by all these, you know, all the Microsoft student partners who are growing and like joining the community now. I want to help, you know, help empower those people and, you know, you know, if that means hosting them on a session on the channel, then yes, definitely. You know, it's all about empowering all of you to achieve and succeed. You know, even uh, I want to see you be, you know, as Pablo always says, future CEOs. I believe that stuff, you know, you're all future leaders. And uh, if I can help spread Pablo's word, then I will. Salman is going to substitute that there. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> You will substitute Satya Nadella. You're gonna be the next CEO for Microsoft. Whoa. I wanna, I wanna live at, I wanna stay there forever at Microsoft. Uh, don't know about CEO. <laughs> don't know if I could live up to that. It'd be awesome to like help. But yeah, I think. And then he says you're blushing. Look at this. With my face now. I, um, I, were there any questions that I have to ask? Yes, you do have questions. <laughs> yeah, so your first question is, my question to Salman is, how did you start with your career and how did you motivate yourself further? Um, well, okay. So, okay, my first job was uh, internship at a startup which I worked at for a long time, only recently uh, left that job, uh, which started in like May of 2018. So it wasn't long, oh no, 2019. So it was like literally last year. Um, it wasn't an internship actually, it was just a proper software engineering job. Um, and I, I thought I was going to be going in as a, like doing data science and all this stuff, but then I ended up wearing many hats. I was having to set up AWS. Uh, yes, I know AWS. I tried to get them to move to Azure, but we uh, at that time we didn't. Um, um, making stuff in React JS and all that, uh, having having to, you know, I, I was like willing to actually interview people and stuff like that. It's it's like, it's like that when you're in a startup, you do many roles, okay, um, and then you know stayed in that. Uh, did did an internship which was the Hololens project, which is now open source on my GitHub. If you want to check it, um, and then th those were like before that as well. I was doing like a uni job, which which I did my photography and I did like helping other people and like being a course art ambassador so it's like that stuff is again community it doesn't have to be a tech job basically you know if you're just working with other people that's fun uh, and that's uh, i think you know building that team skills working with others having that interaction going to work and you know having people which you enjoy working with is amazing um, and that's why you shouldn't fake you are because you won't enjoy the, uh, that at all yeah i think that answers that Okay, and what are the upcoming technologies in this present world? 
what are the upcoming technologies? Yes, Wait. that's the um, uh, Blazor, C Sharp Blazor, uh, <laughs> um, Microsoft 365, Azure, <laughs> um, I, uh, Windows 10. Um, no, but you know, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna say Microsoft stuff, but I don't, I don't know how to answer Google that. Collab, well, okay, Google okay, Collab. Okay, let's, let's start with that. Let's stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that answers that. Uh, stop the dad. Uh, whoa, what's this captioning saying? I'm saying the C word. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> I think I think that's that answers that. But Blaze is actually really upcoming, and UWP. UWP is gonna. UWP has been there for a long time, but you know, with Windows X, Skyward. Let's go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that that answer. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So the next question for you is pretty long. So okay, okay. And the answer, like, I have <laughs> that's up to Salman. It says I've applied for the MSP once, and after that I've been quite active on LinkedIn and GitHub. Apart from that, I'm also the part of MSP UOL, and I've learned a lot about MSP and Microsoft Azure DevOps, etc. My question is that I got rejected by first. Attempt, is there any chance about being selected as an MSP if I try again? And what could lead, have led to my rejections? Is this the University this is... of Lagos URL? I think this is a university in Nigeria. Um, okay, so um, basically, you know, there's there's not, we, that Microsoft won't give direct feedback as to why you get rejected. So I myself have no idea of knowing, but um, like, it's don't let it be a failure right there's it's just learn from it uh if, if you think that you can get in by just sending the same application you know try to see maybe see if there's any other areas you you can improve in uh maybe if there's a workshop you haven't done there's always going to be areas in life to improve on uh i'm not saying that you're not uh good enough for it. i'm not saying that you need to improve on areas, but it's always, if you show that you're improving, if you're showing that you're willing to learn, that I think that's gonna be help, really help your application a lot. Um, I can I can never say um, why you didn't or why not. I can only give advice as to, um, you know, what, what, you know, what I think would help. Um, so, you know, just look at the application, look at areas which they're asking for. And um, if, if there's an area you're liking and just try to improve in that. Um, but it, it could just be that the, the like, it could just be luck that you, not luck, but it, you just could be unlucky that they maybe just didn't uh, accept that many at that time or something. Um, yeah, so try, try, just try reapply. And then I, I think they'll see that consistency in your um, applications and they'll eventually like look into it more or something. Uh, but I, I really think you'll get it, so just keep trying. And just message me if you want me to look at it. Okay, your next question is, what did you learn being an MSP? Um, being an MSP, I've learned that, you know, that the community is amazing. Well, I've always loved the community. But I've, uh, I've learned, you know, to, to work with different time zones more. Because I've always, you know, I've never really worked that much with people outside of my time zones, apart from, you know, in terms of work, uh, like in, in that first job I had. But like being able to manage uh, different people, being able to set up events and all these things on a, on a very short notice, being able to like, you know, sometimes you, 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 you can't seek the approval of everyone. You have to make your decisions yourself and uh, just trust that those will be correct, um, you know. Uh, it's, it's about you know learning by doing tacit learning so if you set up an event you'll learn okay this is the tried and tested way but maybe there's these other things which you need to change just to suit your own style so it's about yeah i've learned a lot it's hard to put into words but you know the community is always going to be uh, something which i love okay so your next question is, how can you develop a system for future growth and purpose? Um, how can you develop a growth? Okay, so 
like I was saying before, I think you should have a North Star, so something which you're really aiming for. So for me, it's always been to work at Microsoft or to, so I've always had that goal. So like doing stuff related to Microsoft has always been something which I've aimed for. So if you have that North, uh, North Star, you can break it down. You can break it down into, okay, what do you need to do? What do you need to, uh, do you need to contribute to open source? Do you need to, you know, uh, you know, go to Microsoft events? Do you need to do Microsoft projects? Do you need to do stuff like that? For me, uh, it's been a passion for me to do those things and also, you know, work at Microsoft. So it's, mm -hmm. if you just set out a bit go and then break it down, mm -hmm. I think that's, uh, you, you're, you're, you'll realize yourself what, what steps you need to make and just work on those once a day or something, uh, use to-do uh, to lists, whatever works for you. Um, and and maybe do the thing which which we do where we have this tribe group where we tell each other what we what we want to do for the day. That's only something we've started doing recently, but I think it it works quite well. Um, Simon's part of that as well, so uh, she she can talk about that um, a bit. But I think she's muted. Okay, the last question. Yeah, the last question for you is how do we start or can, how do we start with open source contributions? Oh, okay. So open source, open source is about starting from, just start from what you know. So build projects that you've already done. Okay. From learning that whole process, you'll realize, okay, this is what needs to be done. This is how, um, you know, these are things you shouldn't do. And then you can, re you, you then have that skill set to then help other people in open source. It doesn't mean that you have to go straight into Microsoft and start doing open uh, pull requests to Microsoft's uh, uh, repositories. Um, you can start with smaller projects like uh, for the talk I was doing for GirlScript, I made a repository where everyone, you know, uh, would just contribute to the readme or they'll create their own folder. Um, that's counted as open source. So just try try find any projects and then over time you get used to it. Maybe start with documentation, Microsoft Docs. If you go to docs.com, you can literally click the edit button and then uh, you know, you can, you can have your open source contribution. It could just be a grammar fix, you know. Uh, I know Simon here loves to do grammar fixes, so if she finds any, she can do an open source contribution like that. If you're that kind of person, then you can definitely do that. And um, then maybe moving on to code uh, itself. So I do a lot of the C Sharp XAML stuff, which is what I like to code in. Um, so then I, I go to C Sharp and XAML repositories and I make changes there. It's just like changing one small thing, like, or if they have text where you change the size, I did just a pull request to change it to a drop down. That's literally, uh, it. The, you don't be scared, just try it. Because if you make a mistake in it, just like, they'll, they'll give you suggestions to change it. And the, the community is nice, like, um, so don't be scared. I hope, I hope that answers that question. I do yes, a, it does. I do have, a, I do have a, a PDF, which I shared, basically summarizing my girl script talk. So if you do want to see that, that's on my LinkedIn. Uh, it's a whole uh, summary of how to get into open source. I started with this campaign today of uh, keep the GitHub green. So it's like uh, keep the GitHub green for 31 days, like this month, May. So it's like every day you code. And I, I'm generating a uh, thread of Twitch on Twitter of uh, where you can give your updates. So it's like uh, go, you can make open source contribution participate in this campaign so we keep the grid of the github green on our profile yeah every day you have to contribute some or the other thing oh yeah 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 um yeah i don't know being a grammar nazi was acceptable on github this is new to me yeah i mean like <laughs> just, just like correcting documentation Oh, in yeah. the Microsoft Learn, he he was saying in Microsoft Learn documentation, you can just mm, go and be a grammar. Not Microsoft Learn. Microsoft Learn doesn't let you edit it. You can give suggestions for Microsoft's official documentation on docs.com, you can, because it's linked to a repository. Um, also, if you do want to contribute to MSP Inspire stuff, <laughs> we have a GitHub repository, github.com slash MSP Inspire. <laughs> That's open source. MIT license, I think, you put on it. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for the nice, nice comments in the chat. It's really, really nice. To see. Okay, so that's okay. So I think we can end up here. It's okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a wonderful session. Yeah, it so was I'll... nice to talk to you. Yeah. Everyone, the organizers, the speakers, people who attended. It was very, very, very awesome. To, such a very awesome event. 
and it yeah. was an honor for me to organize it. And uh, it was one of my first events I organized, so I'm very, I'm very glad and happy that we did that. Thank you. Thank you so much for having the session. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a. So we learn. Thank you. I think uh, that's quite a bit of lag. Actually, actually. Say your voice is not. Um, hello? Yeah. No, I asked. Yeah. Can we end the session here? Yeah. If anyone has any doubts in the live section, anyone? Any questions for the speakers? Like, we put out the forms, but if you guys missed it, you can ask it now in the live chat. We have all the speakers with us right now. Oh, my question. When are you coming to India, Salman? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes, That's done. a great question. Though. You should answer this. Guys, no, yeah, I but we are I on YouTube. Sent him. Yeah, you need to come to Guernsey. I haven't sent him tickets. I haven't even sent him tickets from, to fly from UK to India. He just didn't reply to me. Nah, this isn't true. This isn't true. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, uh, yeah, without so kind of... <laughs> I um I've got to go for a meeting, so I'm gonna have to end the stream in in like a few minutes. Um, but I hope you, I hope you enjoyed. And this yeah, this, yeah, this sure. meeting is gonna be to yeah, help. Quite. You know, the, <laughs> this is again Microsoft Student Partner stuff is to help engage Microsoft Student Partners to hopefully engage that uh, engagement with students. So that's my life. <laughs> so yeah, live your life, live your passions, have fun. Uh, thank you so much to uh, you know Ashita and Samir for both being so engaging and wanting to run this session this was like i guess a pilot to run other people's uh talks on our channel and we're really really uh grateful for having them uh and you know they're, they're new student partners and it doesn't matter how long you've been in the program what level you are just do the thing you know do the thing it's your actions not your words so thank you so much um i think we're gonna close off here if there any of final words i'm just gonna i'm gonna have to uh, cut you short here. Um, be careful yourself. Yeah, we'll take care. And I'm going to play the trailer. And thank you so much, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, check out everyone's socials in the description. Uh, follow Q10 Samir and everyone else. Uh, yeah, have fun. Uh, and I am open to push you to do more stuff. If yeah, you need. Uh, Salman. Yeah, um, so just just one more. Um, from Samir and uh, Akshita. Just um, yeah. give your you give your final words before you just end the stream now. Okay. So thank you so much, guys, for being here, and it was really nice to have you all here with us today. I I look forward to more sessions with. We'll bring out more sessions to you guys soon, and tomorrow we have another session on MSP Inspire. Stay tuned in, and let's catch up tomorrow cool yeah i think that's it samir anything no no thank, thank you very much everyone it, it has been a pleasure to organize this event to hear of all of your stories it has been so inspiring and uh, i really hope that we're gonna make uh, a lot of other events um, such as this one thank you very much love to do more um all about that community thing so yeah thank you everyone yeah and do check out our next talk tomorrow which is with a data scientist from Siemens. Well, he was a data scientist from siemens uh germany and he will be live tomorrow at 4 p.m tm uh 4 30 p.m gmt 10 p.m ist 9 30 a.m pacific time so i hope you enjoy that mm -hmm. and uh and check out everyone okay um and message everyone if you want and yeah okay bye everyone Ciao. Bye, Salman. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Salman. Bye. 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 Did you stop the stream? Yeah, I will. Okay. I'm trailer, trailer. Bye. Uh, okay, that's... Mm. Bye, Vidan. Bye, Salman. Let me know whenever you stop the stream. Yeah, we'll call later. <laughs>